So, there's a new Zelda game out. This is not that. However, it's new to me. So, up until... I, I'm, I'm behind on, on the Zelda series, despite it being considered one of my favorites. Uh, we just finished Twilight Princess, which was my first time finishing it. And I have never played or watched Skyward Sword. I know the basic story beats, because it's kind of hard to avoid for a game this old, but... This would be my first time playing it, first time seeing it. I'm kind of interested because this is... I almost want to say Twilight Princess is probably the most divisive Zelda game, because this one isn't really divisive. This is just kind of... Most people seem to have lukewarm feelings on this one. I think the general opinion is it's not a bad game. It's just... Uh, not quite up to the standards of the other Zelda games. I'm curious about it for the, 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 the story lore stuff, though. And obviously, you can see this on the Switch. This is the HD version because uh, I hate motion controls. So hopefully, we can do without them. Okay. There's a war of unmatched scale and ferocity, the likes of which would never be seen again. One dark, fateful day, the earth cracked wide and malevolent forces rushed forth from the fissure. Barry and how are the levels? I haven't gotten the chance to check. I didn't launch the game before this. They mounted a brutal assault upon the surface. They burnt forests to ash, choked the land, sweet sprigs, and murdered without hesitation. Sorry, springs. Game's pretty loud, okay. I think I missed something important. I saw a lady, and I saw a power granted by gods. This is kind of the problem with playing new games, is that, like, th there's a bunch of important stuff happening at the start, and I'm still worrying about streamer stuff. I gotta make sure everything's, like, working. You know what? I can do that on my end. I can check my levels. I'm getting the gist of what's going on. I'm, I am reading it. Sorry if I'm not narrowing. Okay, yeah, that's still very loud. Why is this game so loud? Okay, a new legend. Wait, no, you can't say that. That's breaking the fourth wall. That was, uh... You don't usually open Zelda games with, uh... Creation myths. You gotta, like, get to a point in the story where I don't know Zelda tells you or something. But, uh... Okay. So, at some point, a bunch of demons showed up and just started killing everybody. And so, a goddess said, 
hey, let's all get together and go into the sky. That That's our story so far. Uh, control mode, button only. Oh, there we go. Okay. I know this game was... Uh, this HD version had a little bit of controversy because there's the one unique amiibo for it. The bird. It gives you, like, a gameplay feature. That sucks. That that's, doesn't sound very cool. Motion-based aiming with button-only controls. Can, can the Procon do that? Okay, I'll worry about that once we... Uh, once we start. It's Dink. Alright, Lost Woods. This is... Is this like a storybook cutscene? This is a very different style from Twilight Princess already. Which is itself a little surprising, because Twilight was, like, such a huge financial hit for the Zelda series. And in a good way. Like, it was a good hit. Some would say it saved the Zelda series, because they were, uh... I don't remember who it was. might have been Al Numa said outright... If this game fails, we don't know if there will be more Zelda games. About uh, Twilight Princess. And then it was the best Zelda, best selling Zelda game of all time, so. I guess they just didn't want to keep going in that direction because uh, they pulled it back for this one. There's a lot more color. Than Twilight Princess. Like, you can, immediately I can see that. This is very Ghibli like. Music is very Ghibli like. Miyazaki like, I should say. Specifically, very Castle in the Sky. La Piuta. I don't like this link design. <laughs> I'm gonna be forthright. He's kinda goofy looking. I called him Dink because I don't like him. That's okay. It, it's a term of endearment. The time has come to awaken Dink. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. I couldn't quite... That wasn't Japanese. I guess it sounded Japanese, but it was supposed to be like, uh, Banjo-speak. Twilight Princess was around when Link started to get, like, the really big lips. And it was very androgynous and very, like, non-expressive. And this kind of, this game kind of takes that even further than Twilight did. He is more expressive than Twilight Link, though. Hey, sleepyhead, I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Oh, that old, that's Zelda. We're childhood friends. We have to meet her for the wing ceremony. Smirk. <laughs> what is that? What is that face, Dink? Thank you. 
I realize that. Look, a lot of the cutscenes in Twilight Princess look really awkward. Like they couldn't figure out the facial animations. The faces were all either a lot of the times just totally immobile. Usually Link with a with a big goofy smile. Or they had really jarring inhuman looking faces like Ganondorf's laugh. Which, by the way, I have seen the face in Tears of the Kingdom. I, I am aware of it. They're still doing it. Ugh. It's a, they're such polished games. Why can't they figure out how to animate characters? No, throw it. This is important. Hold L and tilt R to move the... Okay. Why do I need to hold L? When was this game made? This was the late Wii era. Why, why can't they just have a right stick camera? Hello, Fledge. Good morning, Dink. Today's the big wing ceremony, right? I wanted to fly too, but I didn't make the cut, so I'm stuck back here at the academy. Plus, I've got to move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, Dink, but I guess that's the way it goes. Go out there and wow them, buddy! Am I just not allowed to throw? No, Dink is a good boy. He wouldn't break pots. Can I help him? No? There we go. Oh, I have a stamina meter. Oh, I can't just press L to look behind me immediately. What happens if it runs out? Do, do I die? Do I die from barrel? Now he just gets tired. The only analog stick was on the nunchuck, and you need that to move. What was on the right, uh... I guess it was. I, I... So the... What were the D... What was the D-pad used for? Item buttons? I don't even know if this is the kitchen. I assume it is. Hey, I got a barrel for you. I thought I told Fledge to carry that. Eh, it's probably for the best. That skinny boy would probably have gotten flattened. Oh, yeah. I had something going on. You like, pay me? Look, there we go. I, I got a... <laughs> oh, what? Why is the... Okay. I, I strafe while I'm looking now. That is a beautiful... That's, that's kind of ghibli-ish face. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh hair. I, yeah, first person. Let's go. Let's get a good look at Fledge. Oh, all right. No, I want 20 more. Is he mad? He looks concerned. Like, no, wait, now I won't have any money! <sighs> Better looking NPCs compared to Twilight Princess. I like the character design in Twilight Princess. Even if I, it did admittedly look kind of strange in some cases. I just finished uh, Vinny's stream of uh, Twilight Princess and he, he compared the uh, the village the villagers to aliens a lot. 
looks that got those what those like wide almond eyes and the giant foreheads. No, he's not gonna pay me for the second barrel. Very important. Important feature. <laughs> it flushes. Oh, I probably knew that. I'd probably seen that before. It's nice that they have a door on this one. This looks like a place I would enjoy being. No, nothing about the world of Twilight Princess made it look like a desirable place to live. Horwell. Yo. Yo! Today's finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered there's something I'd like to ask you about. Target me. Okay. Gotta have a Z-Target tutorial. ZL. Okay. Ooh. So ZL is the target button. Regular L is the look button. I appreciate that they have the button control. You know what? I think it's because uh, we're going to use the right stick for the sword, aren't we? That's why you need a, to hold a button to use it as well. While moving, hold B. And there's that stamina. Wow, that runs out fast. Uh, are we going to be able to, like, level that up with items or something? Maybe it's based on hearts. Sparring hall is locked. Look at his... Well, his run reminds me of something. He's got, like, the knife hand run. He looks like a certain anime character. Uh, options. There we go. Oh, invert. That's better. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Wait. Oh, what was that? I saw something. I can throw. I can also roll. I, di I didn't catch how he wanted me to get up. Oh, what does he want me to do? That doesn't help! George Orwell, please! I tried to- I tried to go to the training hall, but the training hall was locked. I would have, these look like boxes I should be able to like move, but they don't seem to be. Am I really stuck this early in the game? Can I not figure out what to do? Bird statue, okay. There's save points. It said there was an autosave file, right? Do I have to like use that file to autosave? I just want to make sure, because I'd like to use the autosave if possible. Yeah, okay, there is an autosave. That's a lot of MacGuffins that it looks like I'm going to have to collect. Try climbing them. 
Well, I'm, like, pressing against them. I don't know how what else would entail climbing. Help. Hold B while moving to dash. This lets you scurry up walls. Oh, okay. There's a... It's not something I expected in a Zelda game. There's a scurry. It's like hat in time. In fact, I have to scurry in order to go up walls. I, I'm still trying to press the L just to look immediately behind me. And it's not working. He does look very Lord of the Ringsy. Alright, let's get some last minute bird riding practice. Zelda's father, Headmaster Gapora, has a pet named Mia, and, well, she scampered off again. I might have to scurry up that house, aren't I? The Headmaster's so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony, I thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony's about to start, and I just put on a fresh set of clothes, and, well, you see... Now nah, I'm busy. Ooh. Is he afraid of cats? If you hang off that ledge there, you can climb onto the roof from the other side. Okay. Uh... Oh, this ledge. They didn't make the, the climbing faster. Oh, it's just as slow as it was in Twilight Princess. It might be slower! I hope I don't have to do that too much. So, I, I take it by the way you said the introduction of the stamina meter, that it's still around in Breath of the Wild. I knew that. I actually knew that. I knew there was a stamina meter in Breath of the Wild. Oh no, he will auto-climb a low enough surface if you hold against it for a while. Cat. I'm sorry, is that a cat? It's like a le it's a cat lemur. This is totally a Ghibli slash avatar creature. Kitty. I cannot throw kitty. There we go. All right. I'm sorry, I couldn't find Mia. Figured. I kind of hoped he'd have special dialogue if the cat despawned. Yeah, the motion controls definitely would have been a turnoff for me. Sorry for trying. Is he going to name this creature? Is it just going to be Mia? We're not going to get a species name. Please tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. And I got a meeting to go to. Stop telling me to do stuff. Okay, Zelda's there. Now, I don't know if she's still technically a princess or if she's just some girl in this. Whoa! Pomp! 
Morning, Dink. How's life? Did you manage to get even a wink of sleep? Figured you might have been tossing and turning all night thinking about the big ceremony. What am I doing? I'm just fixing this gate here. It's squeaky lately. Jacamar. Send your prayers to the goddess. So, the goddess sent people up here. And we just have this floating island in the sky, but where'd, where'd she go? Is she, does she not, like, live here among us? Among us. Did she just bring the humans up here and then fuck off? Is that what happened? I need to know if I can falsify this goddess or not. He did look a little like Sylvester Stallone. I now regret not doing that for him. Now, it's more cat-like than Momo was. Momo was just a straight-up lemur. Both this and Avatar do look like they have very heavy Ghibli inspiration, though. She has a little song in Hylian. I assume. Good morning, princess. Glad to see my Loftwing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. Look at this instrument, and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? They tell me this instrument is just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. So no one has met her. She, she did just leave. I asked father, and he said it's called a harp. Yeah, these, pe these people have been up here on this island for a long time, haven't they? She looks a little bit off. It's it's not like it's not it doesn't like hurt the game or anything. It's 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 not quite uncanny either. There's something about her face, like her mouth is slightly wider than it looks like it should be. She kind of got like a like a permanent duck face thing going on. Uh, great. Alright. Please just be a talking owl. Damn it. He does look very owl-like, though. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. You win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zel Zelda? Post-race ritual? What? <laughs> Thanks. Recently, Dink hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. Even when he's out riding his Loftwing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. Mm. Yes, yes, no need to worry. You may have a point. Today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. Mm. As you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. Like Groose? We going to meet Groose? Dink and his loft wings spare a, share a special connection. <laughs> Just like uh, Gapora shares a very special connection with birds. 
His mother was an owl. I'm convinced he's half owl. When we're young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. Okay, airbenders and uh, bison. That first meeting between Dink and his loft wing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson loft wing, a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it vanished from the vanished from the line. I don't know how you can feel sure of anything when you're stuck on like a a, a building-sized island your entire life. Little boy had just hopped up on that bird and gracefully threw, flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. Judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Okay, poor throwing shade. The noses are very pronounced in this style. I think it's just something to do with how much uh, how much they're shaded. Anyone who's a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty look sooner or later. Hoo hoo. Excuse me, my owl came out for a moment. Okay, we have Knights of Skyloft. Dink doesn't fly fast enough during the race. What if he messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Oh, she's worried about us. Ooh. Calm down, it will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you've become a completely different person when you worry about Dink. Teehee, what could be going on here? That's cute. It's not original, but... Usual childhood friend trope. And then she killed us. Jump off the ledge, Link! Just do it! Sorry, Dink. You can't sense your bird. I get it, you're trying to weasel of ha out of having to practice. Nice try, shove. She's a murderer. She just killed him. <laughs> yeah? Think maybe he shouldn't have done that? No, that's fine. They do this all the time. They're like airbenders. Airbenders in Laputa. That's what this... That's all this is. He's not... He's not gonna forget this. She care. She's only worried about the bird. Wow, what what a, what a way to ruin her character in like 30 seconds. What could have possibly happened to your loft way? I just almost died. What about me? You still can't sense your bird nearby. That's quite a problem. Think when you said you couldn't say don't talk to me, murderer. Sorry is not gonna cut it. What do they make their clothes from? Can they grow cotton here? Do they have animals besides lemur cats that they can harvest, like, clothes material from? 
there's a lot of logistics you gotta think about when you live on an island that's like half half a square mile. <laughs> You're the headmaster of Acad the academy. If Dink asks Instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. Okay, we gotta go talk to, uh... We gotta go talk to Legolas Turok. And then, uh, I guess, find our bird. So, Darian, have you played this, uh, HD version? Or only the, uh, the original on the Wii? I can't roll, which I guess is it, this guy would be kind of kind of invalidated by the ability to run anyway. Hello. Don't men open doors for a lady anymore? How long am I supposed to stand here waiting for a little chivalry? Has she really just been standing here waiting for someone to open the door for her? Because that is supreme Karen behavior. Even her name is Karen-like. Hello. He looks... Like, he looks similar to something that we've seen. His face is a little bit like the, the sages in Twilight Princess. Your loft wing is missing. How strange and troubling! Do you think you can find him? I compared this guy to a Native American, yet I, I give him like the whitest ass voice possible. Looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather. Or not. Yeah, oh, that was a pun. God damn it. Alright, yeah, go, go tell your jokes to the owl man. I'm sure he'll appreciate feather puns. Okay, I go inside this door. Uh, vague Hogwarts shit. Even this interior looks kind of Ghibli-like. Like, this is uh, a little reminiscent of, like, uh, Howl's Moving Castle settings. Yeah, clothed bath. Duck bath. throw Oh yeah, look at that shimmy. I think I already forgot the throw button. Maybe they just don't let you throw indoors. This also doesn't seem like the place that I need to be. Oh, you're, he's wearing the clothes. Your loft wing won't come. Why would a guardian bird not come when it's called? Good senior never hangs an underclassman out to dry. We'll figure this out together. Thank, thank you, senpai. I knew I could count on you. Go to the plaza and ask people there if they know anything. He's, he's got the outfit. Am I going to get the out? Obviously, I'm going to get the outfit. Even though this, I think, predates uh, Minish Cap in the quote-unquote official timeline. They say official timeline, but they, they don't—they don't care about the timeline when they make these games. Why are the barrels back here again? 
Did the old lady bring it back out and get- No, you do it right. I keep thinking this is the exit. This is the bathroom. Oh, this 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 game is gonna take a while because I'm just I'm gonna be doing dumb shit the whole time. That's all right. These are gonna be I'm gonna be marathoning it this week, and these are going to be fairly meaty streams. We're probably we're still not gonna finish this game over the week, but uh, we're gonna take a big bite out of it. Flowers. Plaza. I'm looking for a plaza. You dumb kid. Oh! Ew! Oh! Oh, he's almost as bad as the snot kid from Wind Waker. No, I don't want to talk to you. End conversation. Oh, I have to click stick to roll. Ugly turnip Naruto child. How about you? Yeah, you look normal. He looks kind of like, uh... He looks kind of like the dude who was walking around Windfall in Wind Waker. Hi. Keat. Wing ceremony's about to begin. Remember when Pippet won the last one right at the last second? Yeah, I, I, I gotta find my Crimson Loft Wing. Is. You know, Groose, that sure was a pain, what with all the scratching and pecking. <laughs> of course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? Yzma? Well, we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be, he's not getting out of that bend anytime soon, boys. What, what a, what a punchable face. They all are extremely punchable. Especially the little one. Oh, I don't like the little one. What is that ca Why do we need this camera angle? This is way too dramatic a camera angle for what's going on. Yep, I'm here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, Oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? I don't know if I can do Kuwabara long enough for, like, all of his dialogue, though. Just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the guy. Yes! Yes, I am! You got a problem with that? Groose doesn't do charity for wimps! No, I can't do that that long. <laughs> Work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. His eyes are, like, bulging out. They're too wide. Every, all, all these characters, their eyes are too big. <laughs> like he's on some kind of drugs. All right. Nice hair. I'm gonna give him the Josuke. Everyone knows I've got the slickest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal. Doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Do you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored, honored academy through the mud. Here she is. This, this, this is so, so anime. These character dynamics I've seen so many times. They're not, like, painful or anything, but... Uh, 
You big bully. goes okay they look like they have animatronic eyes they kind of do <laughs> that that pose that's like a poor attempt at a jojo pose it's not quite stylish enough but it is a pose be a major setback toward knighthood so find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure it's it's your special flavor Can we find my bird now? I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can find any trace of your bird. Father said he'd talk to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry. We'll find your bird in time. You know what? I'm just happy to have a Zelda who, like, we know and talk to. As opposed to Twilight Princess, where we had a total of, like, uh, two minutes interacting with her. Before the end of the game, where we were, I, I guess, suddenly soulmates? This is a conspicuous ladder. What's up here? Let sound the goddess's song beneath the light's radiance. Unto her chosen hero shall fall a piercing ray of guidance. Okay, so we've already got, like, chosen hero stuff going on. Even though we don't know about, like, a chosen hero yet. You know what? I have faith. My bird will come. Thus ended Link's adventure. Watch your step there. You can't always depend on lights, knights like me to swoop in and save you. Hey. Oh, I think that was a lady. Well, they actually bothered to have like a like a respawn mechanic explanation. I'm collecting fruit for some reason. Oh, those are the those are like the stamina fruit. So once again, I don't really have any guidance. I'm just, uh, wandering around, looking for bird. Ooh. Hello? Pero. Is that just the theme up here? Everyone's named loosely after birds. Win this thing, you'll get bumped up to the senior class. Here in Skyloft, it's being able to ride a loft wing that separates the kids from the adults. Ooh. If your goal is to become a knight, good technique is even more important. All of us learn to fly the hard way. Lots of practice. Surely that can't be the only way to become, like, an upperclassman. To, like, win the race. The only one person would, would like, graduate every year. Then again, this island probably has a population of, like, ten, so what do I know? What? Oreo. What's this about your bird? Oh, that unusual crimson loft wing. Have I seen him? Why don't you look for him by the statue? This huge statue in the north of Skyloft. Is that not what I was just on? Where am I? I'm down here, so no, I guess it wasn't. Oh, oh, oh. 
Such a beautiful day, but we're too busy to enjoy it. Some things never change. Ooh. We have the we have the gossip ladies. That they seem to exist in like every Nintendo game. It's a very Japanese thing. Just like the, the middle-aged women who just gossip all day. It's not strictly a Japanese thing, but it's a thing that shows up a lot in a lot of anime and Japanese properties. Oh, no, I thought I could get past them. That that area is blocked off to me. I can't go to that side of Skyloft yet. Hello, child. You are much less offensive than the, uh, the turnip child. Also, you kind of sound like Hat Kid. I'm gonna go play with my special friend. Okay, you have fun, little girl. Okay, so throw... I got it. That's a lot of, like, buttons to throw. Never mind. It's just... It's right stick and uh, ZR. This looks treacherous. Why is this a path? This needs guardrails. Nope, not you. I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. Get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting... weird. Aww. I'm so sorry, Dink. I really wanted to tell you, but Bruce found out I told you. <laughs> Sounds like Bruce forced him to keep quiet about it. <sighs> it was a little while ago when I was cleaning the dining hall. Bruce and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there, and they started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Dink. Just as I tried to sneak away, Bruce and his gang grabbed me. Said that if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. Jesus, they're gonna break his legs? Hide him near a waterfall. I'm surprised there is one on this, on this island. Half a square mile was extremely generous, by the way. This is way smaller than that. How, how are these people, like, sane? This is smaller than the size of, like, an army base. Okay, we can enter the sparring hall. What does the sword person look like? Okay. Aegis. Sword is in the back room. Alright, I'll take a sword. Can I beat the shit out of Groose now? Is that where this is going? Is it a real sword? Practice sword. Looks like it has a fairly sharp blade. That seems counterintuitive for a practice sword. The first sword you get in Twilight Princess is made of wood. Sure. Teach me, Mr. Aegis. Think about the direction you're swinging your sword. Spin attack. Remember the fundamentals. Always press ZL to target an enemy. Okay. So to swing, I can flick... Stick flick. Oh, I gotta... Okay, I gotta click the stick to thrust. There's hor... Oh, there's diagonal ones too? 
I hope those aren't used too much. You're not the boss of me. Show me the spin attack. Show me how to spin to win. Uh, left, right, left. Okay. That's not too bad. Fatal blow. Target enemy with ZL and throw yourself at it. Up, down, up. Okay, lots of flicking. Lot, there's even without uh, even without the motion controls, they're still waggling in this. So in the original, I wonder if a spin attack was like a like a, a shake, or if you actually had to like spin in a circle. I don't think they do spin in a circle. They're too worried about like kids hitting stuff in their living room. So that, that is a technique that remains from uh, Twilight Princess. Oh, darn. Guess I can make an exception. Remember, the Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. I don't want you to s see you swinging it around like crazy out there. I'd get in a ton of trouble. Sure. Whatever you say, mister. I'll, pl I'll play very safe with this sword. Safe. Coming for you, Groose. Safe. They don't care. Everyone here's immortal. Think you'll make it in time? I'm such a wimp. I'm so sorry. Something you should always do before you go somewhere dangerous. Find a bird statue and send your prayers to the goddess. Wow, this is not... Is this the kind of stuff that wouldn't have been allowed on, like, the 3DS? Oh, I guess the 3DS era was when that, uh, when that ended. We had that discussion during the randomizer, was that, uh... Nintendo of America was, like, very, very, like, obsessive about anything remotely religious in, like, the Super NES days, which is why uh, Zelda Triforce of the Gods became linked to the past. Hey, we got our first rupee. I guess. No, we had a bunch of them. I guess that was just the first one we picked up out of a pot. Just cut someone's flowers. They won't mind. Uh, waterfall, that's where I'm going. Waterfall. Which is across the bridge that I assume the women are now not blocking. Hope you're ready for the game to explain to you what a rupee is each time you can't reset the game. That is one of the things that was changed in the HD version. If I remember correctly, it no longer does that. I, I am aware that it did that in the in the in the Wii version for some reason. Yeah. So I the sword is like the stick. All right. Now that I have a sword, I can threaten these women to move. That that was that's what was holding me back. Ooh. One of the students has lost his bird. I'm not comfortable around birds. It's their talons. They look so sharp and pa- I'll show you sharp and painful. 
Get out of the way! Is this really the obstacle? <laughs> what, Link is really held back by the fact that he is a mute, isn't he? I gotta swim? Oh, he's got that slow, realistic swim still. At least it doesn't cost him stamina. Either I have to climb up here or I have to platform over there. Those, uh, those stones look very conspicuous. Uh, yeah, I need the stones. Alright. That looks like a magic bean spot. Can I dive? I want to go in the cave. I bet there's like a Donkey Kong level down there. Link got that drip. What did he say, only when necessary? I don't know, I wasn't listening. Hello, old timer. Rusta. Look at this thing. Who knows how long this statue has been here? It only has one eye, poor thing. You probably know this, but you can press up to look around. Yes, I do know this. Thank you. Why is my... Okay, so this is inverted. This is... Also inverted. I don't. Why is that messing with me? I expect it not to be in first person. Why, why can't every game just be the same? Uh. Screen display. Hmm. are a conspicuous series of logs. Was that my bird sense? What was that series of rapid cuts? Aware of blood-sucking monsters. I'm gonna make a triangle sign. Yeah! Just flail. Blood-sucking monsters. How are there monsters on this island? How are there two, like, warring breeding populations? How long have they been up here? Uh, at least long enough for all the people who would have met the goddess to have died, right? I'm not, uh, not loving the sword combat right now. It's a little awkward. I could probably stand to, like, Z-target more. <laughs> this is gonna be my sword technique. Z-target and then smash it with a hammer. Give me the heart. Okay. We just gotta run. Uh, super run. Blood sucking monsters. That's very specific. Do the slimes want blood? Also, I'm sorry, I gotta check one more time. How are the levels now? Because this this combat sounds very loud compared to the rest of the game so far. Like, they really have it set high for the, uh... Like, the...
like the, the attack noises. Come here. No, swing. Sword, where are you? Come on. Z target. I don't care if it's not Z anymore. It'll always be Z to me. Okay, it's, it's a little loud, but it's, it's fine. It's tolerable. I'll turn it down just a little bit more. There we go. It's his first day with a sword. I guess that's true, but still. I don't feel like this is going to be terribly more intuitive as we get through more of the game. So this has an autosave in addition to the bird statues. Hello? Wow, you look like you had a much easier time getting here. Heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's no, there's a place up ahead that Groose and his gang are always hanging around. So they come through this cave. No, I guess they fly their birds. Who's calling for me? I'm sure that was nothing. That definitely wasn't, like, the goddess or something. She's just schizophrenic. Might be a case where the motion controls feel more reliable than the button controls. I'd, I'd believe it. I considered uh, doing it on, like, Dolphin just because, for the sake of having the original experience, but uh, I've started this version. I'll stick with it. I wonder which would look better. It'd probably look about the same, since the Switch is uh, 1080p. Okay, I don't know what to do. Zelda, help. I don't think this is working. I've tried my hammer attack. I don't know what else to do. Now, it has nothing to do with how responsive the motion controls are, in my opinion. It's just the fact that they're motion controls. Do I roll, maybe? What's a... Uh... No? Roll, is, roll isn't it. Help, what do you have to say? Dash and roll. Yeah? Wing sword. I can... Th may thrust, maybe? I'm thrusting. Hmm. Cut the ropes? Are there ropes? Oh, I guess there are. You're so smart. There's every other Zelda game, like Wind Waker, you just, you, you break the boards themselves.
lips. I have to ask you something. I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Zelda, there is no voice. You just, you need a little bit of help. Unfortunately, we don't have that. We, we live on an, an island with a population of ten. And, uh, we don't have a psychologist among those ten, so, uh, I'm gonna help you through this as best I can. Some say it's an empty, barren place, or that there's nothing at all down below. I have this feeling that they're wrong. Y'all got, like, bird mounts. No one's ever flown below the clouds? No one's ever been down there to see it. Our loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. Okay. Can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. I guess the concept of a parachute is foreign to them. They, they don't have that, uh, that knowledge. Just jump! He's got, like, uh, not dimples, but, like, like slight lines under his eyes that make him look kind of old and tired. I identify with this Link. I'm gonna assume if I didn't press down, it would just be the, the night cutscene again. Hello, Lemius. Okay, here, here's, our, here's our flight section. We ratchet and clank now. We Superman 64 all over again. When your bird is headed upward, it will slowly lose speed. Okay, so this is like uh, Mario 64 a little bit. Uh, yeah, bird handles great. I can press A to ascend. Vaguely Kingdom Hearts music. I need to. Uh, I need to invert these flight controls. Camera button only kind of flying. There we go. That's better. Finding your loft wing, you can press right to go over the base controls again. You can also charge, gives you a burst of speed, and slow down. How, how charge? X. I only have three uses of wonder charge. Okay, I did it. Are we done? My father and the others are probably worried about your birds, so let's go give them the good news. <laughs> your loftwing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. I'm gonna fly back and tell Father what happened. You mean walk back? No. There he is. This Groose's theme. Very uh, Paper Mario music. Word around the plazas, you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great. Because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start, and they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment. Key. Key. It's a good voice. <laughs> this voice is completely different from what I'm doing for him. Bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own. No. Princess Zelda makes me lunch. How do you feel about that, Groose? 
princess. Don't think uh, we haven't noticed the smug looks. Yeah, I'm smug about it. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Gris has been going on forever about how he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour in a ruffle about it. <laughs> Durr, her, her. That's a flattering phrase. Durr, her, her. I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're liver living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way I was I, I gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Do you have clowns in, Sky, in Skyloft? How do you know that word? Do they have face paint and red noses? There's so many questions I have about this place that's been cut off from the world for centuries. Did I say scrawny clown snatch because I didn't mean- to Oh, no, that was- that was actually part of the text. Whoops. Yeah, first I win the big race and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. Man. He's simping. Bruce! Psst, Bruce! Behind you! Right behind you! This, this is like, uh... This is like low-level Takahashi writing. This is, this is like Ranma one-half scenes. This is all 80s and 90s romantic comedy anime. Look for me during the race, I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. That's what you want, you want a dangerous man. Slash S. He's got the Chad walk. Don't let those fools get you down, Dink. Just get out there and fly the best you can. Now you've got all those guys beaten. Deep down, I think you do too. So, uh, you and me, uh? Mm. Try to focus, Dink! Hey. Does your father cut your hair with a bowl? She's kind of got a bowl cut going on. At least her bangs. Hey, it's Wind Waker. Oh no, it's not Wind Waker. The Wonder Bolts! <coughs> hey! Your attention pl Owl Land. Uh, we have another Legolas. Alright. I was beginning to worry we'd have to proceed without Dink, but luckily that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you all could make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the ledge. Once you're in the air, mount your loft wing. Does everyone just do this? This is horribly unsafe! No, mount your bird on the- on the ground! Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's champion. It's just- it's just Golden Snitch. This is my competition, all three of these guys? Do you want to hear what I said again, Hoot? Of course the owl- of course the owl asks if we want to hear what he said again. Today's champion will graduate to the next class. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that only one out of four graduate, because they got- they got... 20 people on this island. Their gene pool is fucked. No wonder some of them are, like, are breeding with birds. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
So your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Groose with his uh, scheming face. He's got a reputation. They know what Groose is up to. Hey! Did we, like, rat him out? Did we, did we tell these guys that he locked up our bird? That seems like pertinent information. Zelda pretty much the only woman we've seen. There have been others. There have been a couple, like, uh, 20-something ladies. Three gossipy middle-aged women. Oh, I pre that was the wrong button. That was the slowdown button. That's okay. I've given him a handicap. So it's like a Pona's Karis, but I only get three of them. I feel like I've hit it like three times by now. Wait, where'd it go? Uh-oh. I'm touching it. I'm literally colliding with its hitbox. What's the problem? Am I missing something? Catch. Oh, okay. I was, I was not seeing the button prompt. Yeah, I could have beat this way faster. There he comes. Bruce Tackle. What would Bruce play like in Hyrule Warriors? I guess I, it's too early to know yet. Because being the only, like, uh, Skyloft representative, I assume he would have something to do with, like, birds and such. I'm sure he also does stuff later in the game, though. I mean, like, throws Link or something. I did it! Wait till Zelda sees this! How about a kiss for luck? <laughs> Y'all are, like, trusting your lives to birds multiple times a day. Great, flying, dink. No, we need to talk. You almost just killed yourself. Did the voice tell you to do this? Teenagers, they all think they're immortal. All right, give her the bird statuette. The motion capture does look a lot better in this game than it did for Twilight Princess so far. It's not a very high bar, but...
Great goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your steed during the ceremony. Valiant youth who grasped the golden snitch at the celebration of the bird folk. In accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. <laughs> Aloft a sail. Oh, okay. The sail cloth. Now you can jump from any height without fear of a painful landing. So they do know about parachutes. It just conti I, I guess because if they jumped down... Well, A, they don't know for sure that there's something down there, and B, if they jump down, they couldn't get back again because the birds won't come down there. It smells nice, too. Thank you, Dink. Dink, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? I want to hear this game narrated by the voice actors from the from the 80s cartoon. Boy, that'd just be swell. Say the goddess gave her sailcloth to the chosen hero long ago. One you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to make finish making the sailcloth in time to give it today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Dink. Make sure you take good care of it. We're gonna be separated, and I'm gonna have this, like, keepsake for most of the game. <laughs> Face animations are way better than Twilight. What? Did... Do we kiss? I thought you would have figured it out by now. Oh. What a tease. See that big round design? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop right down into the center of it. I'll, I'll fucking die! That's, that's the parachute thing. How many... They, this island has a lot of suicidal traditions. They, they gamble with their very small number of people. All the time. No way they're able to, like, continue to grow their population like this. Just gonna put my controller down. I see you messed up your- is that all you have to say? He just t he just took that, he's fine! I won't push you this- oh, now you feel bad about it. Alright. This is a stupid tradition, I want you to know that. A real parachute takes longer to work than that, by the way. Do not try this at home. <laughs> that was perfect! I, I have, like, several broken bones in my body. She said the Japanese thing. She said, Nah. Think maybe you'd like to go fly around the clouds sometime? Great! I know that's CDI link. That's not cartoon link. <laughs> They're both similarly goofy and mimetic.
I wonder what those VAs are doing. I, I imagine the CDI link VA is done by nothing else. The cartoon one probably has at least a few other roles. I'll always remember today. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. And then there was an explosion. Or a tornado? A tornado of explosions. So the way we're going to get to the ground is we're going to be forcibly sucked there by a reverse tornado. That's what's going to happen. If it is a fake language, it still sounds very Japanese. Surely it's Japanese derivative. Yes, hello. The time has come for you to awaken. I guess I, d I, guess I did hear a voice, too. Maybe I shouldn't have been making fun of her. Awake! Oh. What is that face? Why is he, like, sneering? When your Loftwing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. I guess Skyloft people are just built different. Okay, here, here's, here's our impetus to start the game. It's always got to start with a uh, damsel in distress. It's mandatory. Black Tornado, that was no ordinary storm. must not push yourself. You're still recovering. When you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? Link attempts to explain. However, no voice comes out. For alas, he is mute. You've been having dreams about a great mission. How interesting. Sorry, I was lost in thought for a moment there. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has yet to arrive. It'd be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. She'll be fine. So because Link had so much more chemistry with Ilya in the last game, and it was weird for, like, Zelda to be... Like, the one he gets with, despite having so little screen time with her, to remedy that, they made Zelda the childhood friend in this one. I don't know if that's necessarily completely true, but it feels like it. We've now had uh, two games in a row where Link and Zelda had, like, no chemistry. Link and Tetra had great tech, great chemistry. Link and Zelda, not so much. 
I guess they they did some stuff together. She she still acted kind of Tetra like in the Wind Waker Ganondorf battle. It's a ghost. Nope, I don't mess with ghosts. But it's nighttime. Okay, someone left the fire lit. This is dangerous. It was then that I saw a vision of Pearl from Steven Universe. And I followed her out of the building. Uh, oops! What a good night. Kite. It's on patrol. Eyes like a hawk. Sees through the dark. I just wanted I just wanted to get the stamina fruit. What what a dangerous place to put it. Fight the cat? No. I'm not gonna do that. Well, now what? Ledge thing. Now oh, let's take stamina. All right, I'll go fresh. It's so slow. I think I like the music in this a little bit better than Twilight Princess so far. Twilight Princess did have... A, music in Twilight Princess was not necessarily a problem. It had a lot of good tracks. It also had a couple of really, like, doofy ones. Similar to Wind Waker. We might still get those in this one, and we just haven't heard them yet. I just yeeted that bat. The entire combat system in this game is just kind of flail wildly. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's just my combat system. Spin attack takes up a lot of stamina. Why is Link specifically the one being chosen for this? It's because of the ceremony. Is that the only reason that this whole Link chain started, was because this dude, like, 
he won a bird race. Because this dude is, this is the first Link. This isn't like a reincarnation or anything. There's nothing yet special about this guy. She's so shiny. I've been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. She sa- I- Imagine she sounds like the GPS voice. That's- that's how I hear Fi. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to care- What- Destiny- I- I'm nobody. I'm a random kid on a, on a sky island. What do you mean, destiny? As the one chosen by my creator. Okay. Goddess Hylia, I'm assuming. Again, I know the basic story beats. I don't know details. Under the circumstances, it's only logical... Here we go. That you would exhibit some apprehension. There, you can see it in the face. He showed apprehension. Twilight Princess wouldn't have showed that. Minimize your uncertainty. Allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> and this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, I'm so she's a spirit maiden now? I thought she was just schizophrenic. Should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? <laughs> He's pretty invigorated. Seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. How 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 much persuading were you prepared to do, Fi? I'm sorry, this is a kid's game. Okay, I I <laughs> Got a, I got a waggle to take the sword out. All right. So this is not the master sword. This is a sword made by Fi's master, who I'm thus far assuming is the goddess. Oh, oh I, I have to raise my sword skyward. That's how I start the game. There it is. There's the Skyward Sword. I got the Goddess Sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Recognition complete, Master. Yeah, we're doing this trope. <laughs> master Dink. <laughs> I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. One day. That's conveniently vague enough that it will surely eventually happen. Said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. 
Do not fear, for it is then that a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. Why, what, what, what has this goddess got to do all day? Why did, why does she, like, leave a, a mystic prophecy about, like, a boy will pull the sword out of the stone? Why, why can't she just, like, hang around on the island? Ah, my goddess did it. What, what was her, what was her name? First I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword. Simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. I don't, I don't know if, like, if, if, if wisdom is the first thing that comes to mind for Fi. I guess she's youthful looking, kinda. The oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission, Condescending? Critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. Maybe your goddess shouldn't have left! I like how Owlman has a giant W on his chest, like, like he's a superhero. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. We, we gotta go down, we gotta slay all the monsters. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. I wonder if we're gonna get more of an explanation about the, the demon's... The apocalypse or whatever happened. Or if it's just, no, one day it happened. We gotta fix it. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It's only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. Also, the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. Zelda Sama. This is no easy task, Dink. The world below is a forsaken place. Reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier. In living memory, no one has ever done this. If I be like, I got you, fam. Hold this block, then we can go through the clouds. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds. Okay, we, we just gonna, like... We gonna warp down there? First thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you charge your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Okay. Uh, right here, in front of me? I gotta put the thing in the thing first, right? Is it in there already? <laughs> I have the I have the gets gatensho. Or the Inuyasha thing, take your pick. Both got energy sword swings.
Till now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. Yeah. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Uh, just think, if what this Fi says is true, Zelda is alive! Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Does she have a sword spirit? Or is she just, like, stranded somewhere without anybody to ask what the hell's going on? Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, especially down there. You've decided to brave the unknown. Please find my daughter and bring her back to me. It's always got to be... Link's always got to be, like, with a princess in some form, some loose definition. It's always got to be the daughter of a leader of the village or something. Even Ilya, like, fell into that category. See, please do your thing and save my daughter. Nah. I understand how you feel, but this is destiny, Dink. Those clothes don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. <laughs> He's got chainmail. Which was also the case in Twilight Princess. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. Oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. I mentioned, uh... I mentioned Minish Cap because Minish Cap is supposed to be the explanation of the origin of the hat. And yet this predates that and also has, has the hat, so, uh, eh. He's, he's never really cared about the timeline or anything. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over you and guide you both. Man, it'd be great since, like, she's proven to exist if she could, like, I don't know, come help. Maybe sit down, we'd have lunch together, she'd have a chat about, uh, what we can do about this apocalypse situation. In a world with proven gods, it becomes increasingly difficult to uh, explain why they don't, like, do anything. Hey. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. I got the adventure pouch. All right. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all, ki buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look! You can buy some potions and a shield. They'd fit in the pouch and they might come in handy on an adventure. A shield? A how do you fit a shield in a fanny pack? Think. I just know you'll find Zelda for us. Yeah, okay. I'll do my... Well, I'll, I'll find... I don't know if I'll find her for you, but I'll find her for me.
Oh, whoops, I think this is Dink's... No, this is my room. Yeah, I just came out of here, never mind. What do you got to say, Squirt? Hey. I just saw the news out of all of us. How come only you got promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid calls. Top of all that, Groose won't come out of his room and Zelda's missing. It's all your fault. Way to go there, buddy. Some senior class guy you are. I don't like you. Your face makes me uncomfortable. What's cooking? Ah. Yes, I'm taking off on my journey. Probably won't be eating here for a while. Make sure you come home every now and then. I guess they each have their own rooms, but the living is, like, is communal. I'll bet someone somewhere has done, like, a, like a high school paper on the culture of Skyloft. What do you think you're doing? Sorry. How about this one? Yeah, I'm leaving Skyloft. <laughs> I'm not gonna be back here for years! Okay, she didn't care about that one. It's probably the last chance that Link will have to poop for quite a while. I'm kind of surprised she didn't care about the third one. They, they only programmed her for two. Oh, these guys have to share a tiny little room together? I feel bad for him. Sleep? Oh, there's like, there's day and night. I guess this is how you pass day and night, is you just sleep in a bed. Also, is that just partitioned off? I don't, I don't think I'd enjoy living here. Bruce has his own, okay. So, Groose and these two guys share a room, and Groose has like two-thirds of it partitioned off for him. That's in character. What's the matter? Groose? Buddy? You having a bad day? Aw. Poor Zelda. You. This is your fault, you know. You can barely fly straight, yet somehow you beat me in the race. Okay. He's gonna try to save her. There's Fletch. Fledge. Now he's Fletch. We didn't see Karane again after that one, uh, after that one interaction. Where's Karen? Where'd she go? Got a very, uh, very prissy room set up here. Got anything good? Don't judge me. Who does she, who does she share her room with? Zelda? Yeah, the only two female students. Yeah. <clears throat> Finally in the senior class. That outfit suits you. Now it's hardly the time to celebrate. I can't believe Zelda's gone missing. I have this feeling she's alive and well. A smash cut to Zelda. Just on the ground. In a pile of jelly and organs.
Oh, pouch. I have a pouch button. Uh, he said there was a bazaar somewhere. And thus, Link began his bizarre adventure. Where's the bazaar? I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword would result in a decreased probability of survival. If you've not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar. That, that, that's, that was the plan, Fi. You said about what Navi would have said in about uh, four times as many words. Now, where's the bazaar? Oh, uh, bizarre. Can I, like, set a destination, maybe? Also, I cannot, uh, I can't run. I can't run and swing like I could in Twilight. They, they did, didn't do that anymore. Okay, the bazaar is, uh, Monty Python's Flying Circus. Well, I guess... I need, like, the hookshot to get up there? What's that about? Oh, hello. Uh, you're... you're certainly eager. I do apologize, but I can't sell this to you unless you have a bow. Uh... Bombs, seeds, and arrows. Who does he look like? He's a little like Flapjack, but I, there's other characters that have those kind of doofy cheeks. I'm good. Thanks. That's a wooden shield. You can use it to block and repel attacks. You must be careful, though, as it will break if it takes too much abuse. Man, I thought we weren't going to start this shit till the next game. Don't worry about... Don't forget about fire. It'll burn quite easily. It's an unfortunate property of wood. Could be yours for 50 rupees. Okay. He's a little... Yeah, he's a little happy mask salesman. He's happy mask salesman with flapjack cheeks. <laughs> how, how, how do you put a shield in a pouch? What? Hello, Petrus. Welcome to the item check. Wanna put your stuff from your pouch into storage? Okay. Wanna take something out of storage? That's fine. Is there anything in your pouch or in storage that you wanna move? <coughs> Sorry, I meant to mute that. Great. Not like my time is worth anything. I wish I could uh, invert the camera. I, I want this horizontal to be the other way. Hello? It's a very confident outfit you're wearing, sir. Welcome to the scrap shop. I can use the stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. If your shield takes a beating, no worries, I can fix that too! There's, like, upgrades? Uh, strengthened wooden shield. Requires... Okay. There's, like, monster spoils that I can use to upgrade equipment. This is, like, proto-Breath of the Wild stuff, kinda. This is the first Zelda game to have this kind of, uh, equipment upgrading. Or breakable equipment, for that matter. We had burnable Deku shields, but... On your way to becoming a knight now, right? Congratulations! I'm sure there's still plenty you don't know. Don't forget to press right if you need a pointer or two. I have a- no, I have a magic so uh, sword lady. Well, 
I, I thought she would, like, maybe pop out and talk to me. The one thing to do when you're tired, get some sleep! You can sleep anywhere there's a bed, you know. Skyloft is a different place after the sun goes down, it's no lie. Find a bed and take a nap to sleep until nightfall. It's all kinds of curious things to enjoy at night. Piper. What do you look like? It's another pearl from Steven Universe. here. Oh, there's the potion shop. Love. What kind of bird, what bird name is that, I wonder? Drink all your potions, drink our potions while you're injured to heal your health. Yep. I need an empty bottle. Can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle. I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. All right. Glad I talked to you. Mm. She looks like a character who would be in Howl's Moving Castle. I don't know which one she reminds me of. Mm. What? Is, what is this? Yeah. Revitalizing potion. Pour it on a broken shield. Okay. Interesting. Welcome to my humble little side business over here. I, uh, infuse the potions my wife sells with new ingredients to increase their power. It's nothing, really. Just something I like to do. You, uh, have any potions you'd like me to infuse? I'd infuse with what? I need more details. What's this pink stuff? Guardian potion. Makes you feel invincible. Reduces the damage you take for a little while. Okay. So we got more complex series of potions than just the uh, red, blue, green. Actually, does this game have magic? Stamina gauge. Okay. So, no. I didn't realize until after we'd finished playing it, uh, Twilight Princess does not have a magic bar. They, uh, they phased that out of the Zelda series. Young man, what calamitous visions appear before me? You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous, thorny road ahead. I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Okay. You do have very piercing eyes. And a pure and innocent voice. However, I, I don't believe I would wish to pay for your services. Are they free? One rupee. For this time, I will only charge you one. Alright. What a treat! You're the first customer I've had in a while! I, I'm the best at what I do! You can trust these glistening eyes! Aha! All is revealed. Yes. I, I... Am I about to head into a densely wooded area? Am I? Oh. Okay. Well, I guess that... I, I guess that was helpful. That was, that was the, like a little hint as to what I'm about to... Where I'm about to be. Now that I know I'm not going to a volcano, I guess I'll... I'm glad I bought that wooden shield. How, how do I, uh... Oh, I can't, I can't, like, shield out here. Okay, so how... Is shielding automatic? Heard you won the wing ceremony. Congratulations, that's incredible! You don't seem all that happy. What's the matter? 
considering the population of 20, you would think that news would spread faster. I don't want to, but I guess I'll talk to Turnip Child. Look up there, it's Beetle's airship. Beetle's back? How c t t Tinkle didn't come back. How come Beetle came back? You'd have to launch something at it to have any hope of ringing it. Okay. Yeah, so I will be able to access Beetle's shop once I have, like, a slingshot or something. Hey! I think this is the light tower. You should try climbing to the top. It is so cool up there. It's a terrible Stallone. I enunciated too much. So where's the green beacon going to? Do I have to fly out to it? Oh, I do. Okay. No, jump, Link. Dink, be a man. We're waggling. This is very jiffable, this dance. No, sorry. Didn't mean to. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna jump, and I press down. Which is my summon button for both birds and sword spirits. Why are there just rocks all over the- why is there floating rocks everywhere? What's the deal with that? Okay, now do I just fly into it, or do I have to specifically go down the hole? Okay, so this made a hole through the clouds. What would have happened had this not happened if I jumped into the clouds? Would I have not gone through them? Would I have landed? Would I have died upon contact with the clouds? Oh, right, I got a, I got a sail thing. There we go. Boy, that would have been bad if I had forgotten to bring that out. Thank you. I hadn't figured that out, Fi. Well, considering the stories, the surface looks way better than I expected it to. It's currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. I've been here in Hyrule Warriors. I know this place. It's a lot more uh, circular than uh, the Hyrule Warriors version. Please proceed with caution. Can I... Can I not use this bird statue? Does it need polished first? Alright, I, I, I kind of wish I had used the statue at the... in Skyloft. Okay, so depending on which way the Baba is, like, has its head turned is how I defeat it. I don't know how to use the shield. I would have liked that explained to me at some point. Bet there's something imprisoned 
down there. Something red, apparently. Yeah, you can take it, Link. Go get him. I'm sure we're gonna fight that eventually. Do you think he feels any, like, pressure sickness? This is a very different altitude from where he's used to, like, living his entire life. Same for Zelda. Well, that didn't work. It is nice to be able to, uh, like, move in camera at the same time, even if it's a little unintuitive the way you have to do it. I'm still struggling a little bit with the camera. Like, you notice, it take, I have to, like, stop and think about what I'm doing to, like, face the right way a lot of the time. Probably wants me to go down instead of up. This is, uh, this is one of those needlessly big maps we talked about in Twilight Princess. Oh, and it's a dead end. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, I'll get down. Get down there, I see. Well, that could have been worse. Is this just how they let you run everywhere? They just stick stamina fruit all over the place. I don't think it would work like this. I don't think if you're tired and you just shove a giant fruit in your mouth, you're suddenly full of energy. In fact, I'm pretty sure that was a uh, that was an immersion episode. The uh, old Rooster Teeth show where they did like uh, video game stuff in real life. That was a fun show, but I think they like uh, they paywalled it at some point, or they put it like, only on the Rooster Teeth website instead of on YouTube. Did an episode about, like, uh, how easy is it actually to open a crate with a crowbar, which is a lot harder than Half-Life would make you believe. They tested go-karts on banana peels. I think they had a yeah, they had, a, like, a Metal Gear Solid episode where they were hiding, hiding under cardboard boxes. That's Snake's superpower, that somehow that works. That's his most impressive feat of all time, that he can actually trick people with cardboard boxes. up here. This play- even setting aside the motion controls, this game plays very differently from other Zelda games before it. I'm still getting used to the shimmy thing. Having a button to hold to run. This was also, uh, this wasn't the first Zelda game with a free camera, was it? Because I'm pretty- I think Wind Waker and Twilight Princess both had that. They just had a camera stick, right? 
I don't remember because I'm so used to in Zelda doing the thing in like in the 64 games. You face where you want to go and then you press the camera button. But it's not ideal. It's better to have a camera stick. This game only, uh, only partially has one. There's a camera stick with an extra step. Well, I'm sure this is a good idea. Just had a horrifying vision of this thing, so uh, let's get closer. Young one, child of destiny. Descended from the sky. I don't know whose voice this is supposed to be yet. Yeah, Fi. I don't know if I trust this, like, mysterious pillar. What do you have to say? What information do you seek? Uh, summary? I, I'm sorry, she, she has like a diary of everything that's happened to us so far? Fi. Tell me about the past 24 hours of my life. Uh, objective. Search the surface and look for clues to ascertain Zelda's whereabouts. The remnants of civilization. First, explore the area near where you touch down. Okay. Well, she's not saying it's a bad idea, so... What could this hurt? What could go wrong? If this were a speedrunner, they'd probably have gotten here in like 15 minutes. I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your skyward strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process to you? All right. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of an aura or something you wish to search for using the tip of the sword. Here you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests itself through vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer. I have a Zelda button. I will find her. My rod shall lead me to Zelda. I guess is the are these like uh are these spouts indicative of anything? Oh, oh these are updrafts, okay. Well that makes getting up easier. It's nice to have a a glider like device early in the game. I think I've said this before, that's what made Dragon Quest Builder so great. I mean, there's a lot of great things about that game, but especially having, like, a glider that let you move around very freely, very early in the game. I didn't mean you do a, uh... I, I don't... I, I did one stream of that game just kind of smack in the middle of a story, and I did a very poor show by doing so. I want to do a stream of it, like, uh, showing off my world that I made at some point. Well, I guess I'm coming back up to the top here. It's a very anime run. It's not it's not quite studio trigger. It's also not a Naruto run, so I guess I'm at least grateful for that. 
Well, now that we have a game where a Ganondorf is just a samurai, are we gonna get like a full like East Asian themed Zelda game? We get a uh, Samurai Link. Ninja Link. Why is Sheik's already kind of a ninja? Despite this being a uh, vaguely Western fantasy series, there are still a lot of Eastern elements to it. Okay, first dungeon. Sealed temple. Maybe not. The old one. Well, that that's a rather... Uh, that's a rather reductive way to refer to this person, don't you think? The traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Tell me, what is your name? Dink. A dink. Good. Very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. How long does it take to braid your hair in the morning? It looks like it takes a long time, old one. I respect the- I respect the effort. You stand under the roof of the Sealed Temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. There's a lot of predestined stuff in this plot. Despite these two not supposed to have been, like, predestined before now? I don't know. I'll, I'll roll with it. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Dink! You are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. No, I want to find Zelda. Okay, Farron Woods. Which was first introduced in Twilight Princess, right? I know it was in that game. I don't know if that was the first instance of the word Farron in the Zelda franchise or not. First dungeon's always got to be woods. We will be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here. A map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. I will give you power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. Okay. Well, that's one way to have waypoints in a game that, that doesn't just have a mini-map on the screen, I suppose. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well. Use the power of bacon well, and truly this will be a most adventuresome quest. By the way, I've got I've got some shit in that chest over there. You should take it with you. Some good shit. This looks like a person who has learned to photosynthesize. I'll bet she just doesn't move. There's my beacon. 
Make sure it's nice and prominent on camera. Birds. Have I gotten five rupees before? There wasn't a this is a blue rupee message. Aw. No, don't beat up the Gobon. Hey. Wait, no, I just wanted to talk. Alright. Thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud! Ooh. Who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Okay, now this pokes a hole in my theory that uh, Ganondorf, like, spawns these Bokoblin fellas and such for his army. All sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. Hey. hey, bud, I am Gorko the Goron. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there is some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from this Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. Okay. This statue is special as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. This one specifically. Well, it's a good thing we found this one second. It would suck if, like, the last statue in the game that we found was the one that activated all the others. Get this. People actually live on this sky island, and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess, so the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Oh, there's Groose, but, eh, you get, you get used to him. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. Wait, are we the precursors? What is, ad what, what's advanced about our civilization? There is a flying shop, Beetle figured that out. There's, there's gold and mystical water. Trees are full of fruit. Fields are crowded with pumpkins. Well, a lot of this stuff is, like, mo it, it's almost true. He's maybe exaggerating a little bit, but it, it was pretty, like, utopian up there. Mm. It is beyond amazing! Okay. I'll humor him. I appreciate when someone takes an interest in my culture. Even if he's not totally knowledgeable, knowledgeable about it, he's trying. Next time I bump into you, I'll give you the latest info on the Sky Islands. Man. The things Link Dink would have to tell to this Goron, if only he could speak. The statue reacted the moment you got near it. How crazy is that? That's pretty crazy. Oh, okay. So I can I can return to Skyloft at Oh, I don't know any time, but What was that? The statue just reacted to you. What happens if I go to Skyloft from here?
Now, is it Skyloft, or is it just like, is there like a giant sky above the whole game world? This is gonna be like uh, Omega Ruby. Yeah, it's just the sky. Oh, whoops, I forgot. It's a little counterintuitive, the, uh, the like, dive for speed thing. Okay. So, yeah, it is, uh, is near Skyloft. Now, to get back down... Can I warp from, like, a statue up in Skyloft, or do I have to go through the hole? It is possible to send to a specific bird statue on the surface after you've already visited it, and I've memorized its location. Okay. Well, that's good. So the amiibo just makes it so that you don't need these statues. So that you can, like, go up and down at any time. But hopefully the statues are, like, common enough that it won't be an issue anyway. Yep, I, we just did that, Fi. Were you not paying attention? What other amiibos can we use, is my question. Use a certain amiibo. He's in the sky. Uh... It's only that one, though. I have a Ganondorf amiibo. That's the only Zelda amiibo I have. I was kind of curious if that did anything. <laughs> Anyway, I didn't realize until, uh, like, re-watching Twilight Princess. It really was kind of just Ocarina of Time again, in a lot of ways. Not completely, but, uh... You could tell that they were trying to distance themselves from Wind Waker and capitalize more on what people yep. liked about, uh, Ocarina and Majora. What is this? Is this just water? Am I just getting wet? Like, the first three dungeons were very parallel to Ocarina. You had, I think it was like, uh, it was like Farron Woods. Followed by, uh, the Goron Mines. And then the Water Temple, which featured a lot of, a lot of the Zora stuff. You went to Zora's Domain. Okay, there's a massive tree here. It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. Okay, so we got, like, three major areas on this map. I'm waiting for the map to, like, expand. We're, we're gonna have a bigger surface world eventually, I just know it. Or this is just one of the surface areas, and there's gonna be several. Yeah, Zora's Domain. Well, even that, the first three dungeons were, uh... You'd go to Kakariko, and then you'd go to Death Mountain and do the Goron Dungeon. And then you'd go to Zora's Domain, and you'd do the Water Dungeon. Which was not inside a giant fish, granted, but... You really gotta cut those low to get past them. Also, Hyrule Field being like a huge, vast, most mostly empty, but it was, it was they really tried to appeal to the idea that it was like a big thing to explore in the same way that they did in Ocarina. Is this a Deku scrub? 
Do we have those again? No, we have a new type of weird plant creature. Is this is this a Korok? Now there's a green one. I didn't even know they came in. Now there's a green one. Okay, he, he thinks I'm. What? Do all us organic creatures look the same to you? It's a land penguin. It's a grass penguin. It's a new Pokemon. It's like a penguin Bulbasaur. I don't really care about this thing. This just also happens to be the way I'm going. Oh, I guess I do have a camera. I do have a, like... Camera face button. It's just a ZL. It, I, I don't like its limbs. It looks like, like a small child in a penguin costume. Like, it's got its human arms with sleeves coming out of it. It's a very colorful, like, cartoony area. This is so much more cartoony than Twilight Princess was. Look at these mushrooms. This looks like a Spyro level. Yeah. How many years was it between Twilight Princess and this? Twilight Princess was like 2004? 2005? Oh no, I got, I got sticky. Ow. And then this must have been... This bridged the Wii and the Wii U. So this must have been, like, 2010? 2012? 2011, okay. Split the difference. I'm going backwards, aren't I? Yeah, I just, I just went in a circle. What is- oh, that's my beacon. That- that's what that blue thing was. I thought it was water. Get rid of that. I wonder if this was being made after- no, this couldn't have been on Wii U because it has motion controls. Was this only on the Wii? Zelda games usually uh, bridge two consoles. Is how it's been going for a little while. This might have been the this might have been the exception. It's also possible they had like planned to put it on the Wii U, and uh, they knew the Wii U was uh, was a financial failure pretty early on. So it's entirely possible they had like originally conceived it to be that on that as well and backed out yeah breath of the wild bridge we use switch I know that which begs the question is tears of the kingdom gonna bridge the switch and whatever comes after the switch there's Rumors of another Nintendo console. There's always been rumors, but... Exceptionally strong dowsing response. Oh, oh, she doesn't want me to move ahead. That's what's happening. What, has that ever happened in a Zelda game? I guess there's, there's occasionally NPCs who don't let you pass, but this is like, this is like a Pokemon thing. Having a cutscene that says, no, don't go this way, keep looking around. How do I douse again? Walk off, please. Link. Ugh. Oh, 
I'm sorry, she's in the mushroom? Oh. Wait, that's not Zelda. Is it? Where'd it go? I didn't see it. Uh, gotta use the dousing feature. We put it in the game, we want you to use it. I, I just want to talk. You don't want to eat me? Well, I don't know. What do you taste like? I'm a consumer of salad. That weird, that's weird, Kiku. A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. I'm, I'm surprised you can tell the difference, considering that you did couldn't tell the difference between me and a Bokoblin. What's a Zelda? Me. I am Zelda. This is my legend. It is me, Zelda. Kikui. Okay, so these are not Koroks. Are, are, are they derivative of Koroks? What? Well, no, Koroks don't exist yet. Again. Assuming that timeline matters here. My analysis suggests this Kikui most likely produces a false positive dousing reaction due to the previous direct contact contact with Zelda. Yep, 85% chance. Alright, let us continue the dousing. I'm gonna douse all over Zelda. Would you mind telling our elder that I'm safe? This, this is just this is m m m just Makar again. Well, I assume I want to go the way that it wasn't allowing me to go before. Oh, hello. Are, are you a bad plant? Is there a way to guard? I still can't figure out how to guard. Or how to use my shield. It's, it's a... So it's not a Deku scrub, it's an Octorok with grass on its head. I'm sorry? Okay. How shield? Link, use shield. Thank you, Fi. Can you tell me how to shield? That would be actually helpful. Dodge, oh, lock on. No? Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to use a shield in this game. I'd like to. sure the lore matters for this one. Yeah. I mean, they definitely tried to do some stuff. The thing is, the Zelda devs are not the ones who, like, made Hyrule Historia. That's just 
other people that are trying to piece together what the Zelda de deaths do do. Was the devs? Oh yeah, of this of this game. It's like a shitty punch out fight. Fight this combat combat system. Ag Allen must supervise the book. Even then, like he's the one who doesn't care about the lore, though. He's like he's gone on interviews and said, "No, nah, I don't like to think about it. I, I like each game to be like self-contained and to be its own thing and just kind of go on feeling, you know." losing hearts because of the shield thing. Also, I haven't gotten, like, any items yet. Granted, we haven't gotten to, like, the first dungeon, so I guess that makes sense. But... Some kind of projectile weapon. It's a slingshot even would be lovely. I guess I can't shimmy up this. Now I know it was a fit an official Nintendo pro product project. I just don't think they cared that much about it. Because, like, they immediately went, like, they didn't consider it for any future games after that. I'm willing to, I, I'm sure they considered it, like, at least a little bit for this game. I don't think this game is going to be, like, uh, perfectly lore accurate. Like, there's not going to be any inconsistencies with the timeline. is all I'm saying. I guess we'll see, though. Either these creatures would have to be completely unrelated to Koroks, or if there is a connection, then that would mean that they uh, turned from these into Kikiri into Koroks. Uh, getting kind of hard to douse with all these, uh, all these bats and things around. Oh, there's the elder. Okay. Yeah, I don't like the combat in this game. I'm trying to avoid it now. Which I, I kind of do in a lot of Zelda games anyway, but... Uh, I'll get up. This log would be great for getting over there, except it's a little too far, and I cannot push it in that specific direction. It's just a shortcut log. I got an amber relic. No one knows where their strange shape comes from. Okay. 
I got loot from a log? What about all the enemies? Those don't give anything? They made it so that they could market uh, Skyward Sword as the Grand Origin story. That makes sense. No, Link, I want you to jump. The ledge mechanics in this game feel so inconsistent compared to all the previous games. Even Ocarina of Time, which was on the Nintendo 64. It's better for Nintendo they scrapped the timeline. Eh. I like, I like the idea of the overarching lore. I like that it's non-linear, yes. I, I don't need them to be, like, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Zelda games with constant references to one another. I, I like little nods. I, I like, like, explanations for why these shared things in the universe are shared. I don't, I don't think that's creatively limiting, personally. I got lost. Where's Where was the Elder person? Where's the Elder Scroll? I just want to find the Elder Scroll so that I can go home. Man, this was way easier as a wolf. I don't like them being totally disconnected from each other, because then it begs the question, why is it a series? Being able to tie the games together is kind of like the fun of it for me. This feels like it like it should be a, a platforming game level. I mentioned Spyro, but it'd be something in something like Croc or Banjo Kazooie. This is a very, like, colorful, platformy, naturey section. This doesn't look like a Zelda area. Also, with this all, this weirdly convenient, like, geometry. Uh, it's inconvenient for me, but... The landscape is shaped like a platforming area. It's all log over there. Also, I'm glad heart pieces are back to being a uh, four to a heart again. Okay, so I saw across the gap. That's where the elder is. I need to find a way over there. I jumped down previously. What did that do? I got rocks. Those should be useful for something, I imagine. Okay, here's a log. So I've been up here before. Well, yeah, the Tingle games and CDI stuff is, like, non-canon. Those are some pretty far outliers compared to mainline Zelda games. Okay, new t new new area. We haven't cut these trees yet. They have fences. Some fancy ass Koroks. I didn't realize Koroks lived in a gated community. Uh, this is probably this is like a way to a temple or something. Also, yes, I know they're not Koroks. Korok equivalents. Okay, these are not uh, Deku Scrubs or Octoroks. They are a common ancestor of both. That's my operating theory.
I don't think the tingle, the, even the tingle games don't like connect to each other, if I remember correctly. In the first one, what's the plot of the first one? He, like, lives in a house by himself, and he gets approached by the Uncle Rupee dude. Or he, no, he gets, he gets, like, sucked into a storybook or something? The second game, he gets sucked into a storybook. I don't remember. Are both of the Tingle games isekais? Why, why does he not want to walk on this particular tightrope? I don't understand. Also, I see these conspicuous bugs around. Am I going to... I'm going to have to, like, collect bugs again for Agatha, aren't I? Oh, I, he wasn't swinging because I was holding the camera stick. That's why. I, I wanted to, like, bat the rocks back. It didn't work. Were the Tingle games referenced? I'm guessing they weren't. They ha they half stopped using Tingle in uh, Twilight Princess, and they fully stopped using him in this game, so I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of wanted to forget about him by the time Hyrule Historia happened. Okay, so I went up here. This is where the gate to what is presumably like a dungeon area will be. I see a, a rope that seems like it goes over to where the Elder is. However, I cannot cross it. There's a hang down command, but that's just for the ledge. Is this not... Okay, okay uh, hold on. Idea. I'm dumb. Wow. He thick. <laughs> Quee he. I am Bucha, the Kikwi Elder. I'm not gonna keep doing that voice. My ingenious camouflage, you are clearly a master woodsman. Where's Zelda? Girl creature with the blonde hair. Everyone know- okay. It's, it's just weird to me that they can identify the gender of humans, but they can't tell humans from other species. That's a little weird. Shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. He's got that, uh, he's got that Wilford Brimley stash. I'm sorry, there's naked concept art of Tingle? The monsters are still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave this spot. Three Kikwis are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure they are safe? Quee! I am worried sick for my fellow Kikwis. You calm my fears, I might be able to remember more about where the girl you seek went off to. This sounds exploitative. I'll help you out because you obviously care about your family, but you don't need to pretend like you don't remember for this. Also, did she just use the word soft lock? Okay, we have a Kikui dowsing, a dowsing item. Uh, no. Thanks. Okay.
Okay, let us let us kikui. Like Tingle says that in his games. He goes, Kikui. Oh, we got a fairy. First time. This playful sprite replenishes six of your hearts. They've really nerfed fairies over time. I think they only restored eight hearts in Twilight Princess, and now we're down to six. I think they re really realized that with fairies existing, there was not a whole lot of reason to use potions. Uh... Hmm. Well, I don't have, like, a slingshot or anything, so I don't have any way to get rid of those. They wouldn't want me to just, like, tank the hits. So either I need, like, a, a slingshot or some similar way to get those off the rope before I cross. Or else... They, they do respawn, right? It'd be kind of dumb to have, have me have to remove them and then climb up again. Jostle them off the rope? Well, hopefully they don't respawn anyway. Booty. Uh, what is that? Is there one more, or is that just the end of the rope? I don't love this. I, I don't. I don't think I like this balancing mechanic. Okay, we made it. Uh, is this a new area? There's. Who is this? Oh, it's a Bokoblin. It's a Bokoblin with cat ears. It's a furry Bokoblin. Okay, you done? It's like finding the Yoshis in Paper Mario again. Oh, I still gotta get back to that. I got Chapter 5 next in Book of Mario. Get down. Oh, what did I do? Uh, okay. So if I press L, if I press the left stick, I raise my shield. Okay. I'm trying to, uh, that's not what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to, here we go, roll into the tree. The mechan the controls in this game are so much less intuitive than every other Zelda game. I am glad that I can use a controller for it, but oh boy, it's a lot of t getting used to. Yes, yeah. the Elder was worried about, about you. Have you seen Makar? I'm trying to find all the Koroks. I'm sorry, I mean Kikwis. For the Deku Tree. I'm sorry, I mean Elder. I'm guessing these guys don't come back. I I'm guessing that they're not, like, referenced again in any future Zelda games. The Kikwis. Uh...
Alright, where else can I go? Now, now it's time to start dousing. Oh, those look like... They look like my bird. I don't want to kill this. Nah, he's, not, he's not hurting anybody. Uh, mushroom? Get down. No? Maybe that wasn't it. The last sparkling mushroom had a, had a thing inside it. No, it's not the mushroom. Oh, hello. Uh, how do I get you down? I guess. Is it up there or is it in the tree? No, it's not up there. I don't think I'm very good at this dousing thing. Oh, here we go. They're based on kiwis. Yes, they are. They're, they're kiwi Koroks. Uh, I keep, when I see a heart fall out of me, I keep thinking that I, it's like a pickup heart. It would feel nice to be able to move and swing, like in Twilight Princess. Oh wait, he's back up again? I hope I'm not, like, jumping between two of them. I think I might have been. Uh, oh, that's right, I got shimmy. I'm glad they went through the effort of including a button-only mode, despite how awkward it is. It had to be a big undertaking. Anytime you can remove motion controls from a game, it can't be a bad thing in my book. see if I can actually... Hey! Oh, no, that wasn't one of the things. I, I want to actually, like, beat one of these Oct Octoroks now. Yes, hello. You and your, your cute little mascot noises. Jedi mind control won't work on me. I just, I stop running into them as soon as I know how to actually beat them. You. No, you're just a bush! Alright. Hope you like the tear collecting segments from Twilight Princess. I didn't have a problem with them. Considering how big a, like, story element they were... Like, that was the big thing you had to do. You had to... That, that, his big scheme was to cover the land in Twilight, and all you had to do to clear it was to, like, go around for five minutes and beat bugs. 
It was kind of really un it, it was a really underwhelming task for what it accomplished. I wasn't aware that people like had a problem with the bugs because they apparently felt the need to make it like easier in the HD version. I didn't love playing as a, as a wolf. Wolf Link was kind of, like, not fun. He's like the main thing that makes it... There we go. Wow, those guys are not worth the effort to kill. Y'all got any hearts? I say, and then I'm going to make the attempt again. Hearts, please. I'm finding myself taking a lot of damage in this game. I guess awkward controls count as a form of difficulty. Just look at Quop. Getting over it. Hit physics games. Fruit fell. Uh. Where are ya? Hello. We got some vines to climb, I see. I bet Zelda doesn't have to do any of this. I bet Zelda just crash landed and she's like, where am I? And then some, some nice person picked her up and she's just sitting having tea waiting for me to come get her. That's how it goes. Hey, get up. I can see you. No, get up. Do I have to cut your grass? Why is this one so stubborn? Arise. Kikui. Kikui, arise! There we go. You've been discovered. And we go back to the Elder. Enemies in this game tend to counterattack if you find if you strike them the wrong way. Yeah, I suppose so. There's a lot of stuff I'm gonna have to come back and bomb later, isn't there? It's gonna suck if this dude is the one who gives me the bomb bag. Here, have this. Now go back to all the places you were just been. Also that, which I assume will be our next destination. That and the in the like fenced temple. Now how do I get back to the elder? How do I navigate this banjo kazooie level? Even has that, like, uh, that plucky PS1 era platformer instrument. I guess the, uh, like, it's, it's like chimes? 
I hear him now and again in the uh, in the background music. I don't know what that. I know I wasn't gonna make that. Get out of here. Is that the rope I want? I think that's the rope. Yeah, here we go. Here is the right place. This link's got hustle. He's got to work so much harder than the other links. Ow. Yes, I have found- C Could I have not just told him that I'd found them all? Would he- he wouldn't know. Yes, I feel much less worried now. She had to travel to the temple deep between, deep within these woods. You look like a scrotum. This link would be the back in my day type. I th that's like an old people thing though. He's not old now. I guess because, like, everything is so, uh, the primitive in this game. Except it's kind of not. Every Zelda game kind of ultimately has the same setting. It's always, like, vague medieval technology with a, a little bit of magic involved. And there's, all, there's always precursors. I guess I have to shimmy up? Yeah. Precursors, like ancient civilizations that were way more technologically advanced than the current era. Despite... Which is also kind of an issue with the timeline. Because all these times are supposed to be like thousands of years apart or whatever. And yet they're all technologically identical? It's very strange. Each, each Zelda civilized, each version of Hyrule eventually becomes this, like, Atlantis-like super technology. And then that ultimately, like, results in its downfall. E each Hyrule is the precursor for, for the, uh, the precursor technology for the next Hyrule. Alright, here's my pouch. Uh, no, it's not in my pouch. ZR's items. Oh, this is a little weird. This is going to take some getting used to. I also don't, now, I don't know how much of this movement is like uh, my controller. I'm using a, a pro controller and it has uh, it does have a bit of a history with flick back. I haven't experienced drift yet. Uh, is this the way to the temple? Where am I going? Viewing platform. I assume this way. Uh. Is it up here or is it down here? I don't know which way it is. Where am I? I'm there. Uh, let me... Check this way first, I suppose. This is pretty close. This is where the fence was. I don't think the slingshot will help me do anything here. Examine. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I guess it's the other way. There's the sealed grounds. This path goes off to who knows where. 
if that's not a dead end and it is in fact a path at all. I, got, I can't just like, there's not a remove beacon button. Each area drags on for a very long time. Eh. I mean, Twilight Princess was no different. I came in expecting this game to be to like take a while, so I know what I'm here for. They do kind of seem to be going, trying to go back for a more, like, uh, a more natural sort of environment as opposed to Twilight Princess and I guess even, like, Wind Waker and Majora. There was a lot of, uh, like, civilization. You can already kind of tell... There's there's some seeds of Breath of the Wild even in this game. I say not having played Breath of the Wild, so what do I know? Get rid of. Be gone. There we go. Uh... There we go. Who rolled up that vine so conveniently anyway? Could that be? I don't recognize those legs. Deep woods. Okay. Is this a dungeon area? We never, uh, we never visited the fishing hole in, uh, Twilight Princess. Which I don't necessarily regret. Fishing sucks, but, uh... There was a lot of, like, uh, there was a lot of, like, characterization for the fishing hole lady that we didn't really see. And her, uh, her family. Nope. He did it. Wow, that worked. Well, now what? The bees are there. Uh, are there more bees? There are. This is a bad idea. Let's do it. Is there anything here, or is that it? <laughs> I just get to mess with some bees. Okay. <laughs> you mad, bro? Oh, there's bees here, too. And thus Link's adventure ended. Oh no, he did chase me! He's gonna walk into the bees! There he goes!
<laughs> the other one left. The other one saw what happened. And he's nope. I'm not getting involved. So if Bokoblins just like existed, again that contradicts my theory that they're like spawned of Ganondorf's magic. They're apparently unrelated to Ganon and or Demise. They're just they're just wildlife. like ledges. They really just gotta put this fruit all over the place to account for areas they want you to use, like, more stamina than you have. Is that all the door? No, there's a tightrope. Okay. Okay. I only have, like, 18... I only have 20 of these slingshot bullets, is the problem. I kind of wanted to lure the guy across to see him get the... Like, get, get, like get, walk into one of the bomb things. I don't know if I can turn around. Yeah, I can turn around. Okay. I should have done that. I cannot use my sword while on a tightrope. Is this really what they're going to... Because you can't kill them with the slingshot. I guess what I was expected to do was to... Uh... feel a little bad. They either expected me to let him eat one of the bombs, or just do that, I suppose. Anyway, I'm now about out of slingshot ammo. I am aware of Demise, yes. I, I'm, I'm aware of most of, like, the really big plot points in this game. I'm not fully aware of, like, the nature of Demise. I assume he's, like, the d demon god or something. Leader, leader of the bad guys. Something along those lines. I know he's, uh... He's, like, Girahim's master. Girahim's trying to revive him or something. He's, like, inside the imprisoned creature or something. Alright, Deep Woods. You know, I actually called him Dink because he was gonna be like, uh, he was gonna be Deku Link. I, fi I figured he'd be like a like a Deku from My Hero Academia type character. But he hasn't really gotten the opportunity to, like, speak or, or express himself a whole lot. And the few times he, he did, he's just kind of been, like, CDI and Cartoon Link. Oh, you don't need to tell me about the big twist. I'll, I'll find out by playing the game. Swing, please. I'm not fully understanding how the swing works. I think... 
See, I'm holding, like, up solidly. If I just hold up, he eventually stops. Okay, so I have to move forward and back rhythmically. Which I had assumed, but it felt like that wasn't working for some reason. Again, the controls in this game are strange for many reasons. That was a tough flower. You know what? You're not worth it. You get to live. Your jump carries more momentum than the swing is letting on. See, I figured that, but when I, tr I tried to, like, trust the jump, I didn't make it. Hello, uh, Gorko the Goron. Stumbled onto one of these things just now, and it looks like something I've seen in those ancient texts. We have a Goron archaeologist. This is one of the things the goddess was said to have left behind for the hero of legend. I wonder if Zoras are in this game. Don't answer that. I'll, I'll find out, but... I says this confirms the age of the Goron race, at least. Summon forth the light from the heavenly blade, and may that sword's master receive aid. Okay. I should have said no. A Goron in the forest. In addition to that, in Twilight Princess, that Goron that's just underwater, apparently there's also a Zora who is just kind of hanging out at Death Mountain. Just standing around and saying, man, it's hot here. I'm going to dry out. Mm. I don't know if these NPCs serve any purpose other than to just be in weird places. It react the sh it shot up into the sky. Where did it shoot off to? This mystery just got a whole lot more mysterious. It uh, it shot off to one of the many kingdoms of Mario Odyssey, where Mario will break it open to release several power moons. Okay. Well, I guess I'm blasting those cubes when I see them because why not? Oh yeah, all, all, so far all of the no choices have been uh, just totally arbitrary. They don't even loop back around and like try to get you to say yes, they just, they just move on with the dialogue. Uh, am I going somewhere? Well, I got a shortcut of sorts. I don't remember if I've mentioned this on stream, but uh, now that I am no longer driving bus, I am trying to move my sleep schedule to later, so that, uh... Right, Jack still works weekdays, so we won't be able to do weekday streams with him, but, uh... I'll be doing my streams a little bit later. Though. Look to the star that the bird rising heavenward gazes upon, and aim your shot there. The bird rising heavenward. I assume I assumed that to mean a bird statue. Except no, that's not a bird rising heavenward. That that's a bird looking forward. 
Also, I don't have a shot to aim unless it, like a slingshot will cut it. Well, this does appear to be a temple, which is supposedly where Zelda went. Is this gonna be like Thousand Year Door? Where, like, she just keeps running ahead on a treasure hunting expedition. And I'm just always a step behind her. Look to the star that the bird rising heavenward gazes upon. This can't be the correct bird. been over here yet? I think I have. Like, yeah, I came I came across that rope and then I, I like ignored this guy. This guy sucks. You gotta be vertical eventually. There you go. Yeah, I could see what Fi has to say. I'm sure she'll be wonderfully helpful. What about you, Goron friend? Do you have any advice? Mm -hmm. Temple. Mm -hmm. Old texts refer to a place near here called Skyview Temple, where, as the story goes, visitor from the sky will one day be received. Mm -hmm. Old stone marker. Yeah. Thanks. I figured that much out. Fi, what are your thoughts? Prove yourself useful. No, I don't- not- not about the shield. They really dedicated one of the arrow keys to a permanent- Hey, what are my controls button? Zelda headed to the temple located deep in Farron Woods. Thanks! Yep. Go to the temple. Cool. Good advice. Uh. Anything else? Hint. Deku hornet hives are common here. The suitable bug catching tool. Okay. I, I need advice on the specific current situation, though. There is little here that will put your life in danger. She has so many options, and all of them are useless. They really spent, like, so much time on dialogue that is just, like, not helpful in the slightest. Who was this for? Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna need to phone a friend. I have no idea what to do. Bird rising skyward. Go up to the door of the temple. Is that supposed to be a bird? It doesn't look very bird-like. I, I guess a little bit. Oh, I got a red rupee. Oh. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit vague. No, Link, get the rupee. I'd like to reiterate for the thousandth time. No one looks up in video games.
Dude just left a five on the ground. This seems like a misnomer. This doesn't look like a skyish, viewish place. Th this is dark and dank. Look around to see where we should move next. Thank you, Fi. I would have never figured that out. I should look around the temple and try to proceed? It's not just the way she talks, it's her advice is like ten times more useless than Navi's. Physics. Fiver. Uh, don't suppose I can slingshot that. It's just like a window to the outside. Yeah. No, don't. I guess A button is also shoot for some reason. Pressing the bumper to attempt to Z target slash L target. Because that's how I always set it on like emulators. I don't like using the triggers for these kinds of things. Procon triggers aren't Procon triggers aren't too bad, at least. They're not like uh, they're not pressure sensitive, so you don't have to depress it a huge amount for it to register. It's the main reason I don't usually like using triggers. Link could really use, like, a low sweep. He doesn't have one of those. Hello. Great. Alright. Uh, can I shoot this? I can stun it. So, I guess this is the Slingshot Dungeon. I know a complaint that a lot of people make about this game is that it's just kind of more of the same. It's a lot of the same mechanics, a lot of the same things that we've done and seen in every previous Zelda game. It doesn't really innovate in any way. I guess they figured the innovation part was the motion controls. to the wise voice of the servant who brought you to the firm soil. The wise voice, you say. I'm gonna wager that she's not gonna be very helpful. In fact, I'm gonna wager I just have to shoot the giant eye. That seems kind of self-explanatory, to be honest. Okay, except that the eye doesn't want to be shot. The eye is wise to me. Fine. I'll ask Fi. It is likely that I am the servant this tablet is referring to. How likely is it? I need a number for these things. Should you, fi Should you find yourself in need of answers, I hope you won't hesitate to call on me by pressing down. Oh, I've tried. The 
This magical sentry has a natural tendency to stare at the tip of pointed objects. Okay. And? That, uh, once again, Phi, that was not helpful. How kill? How defeat? Okay, oh, I... I have an idea as, as to what they want me to do. It's stupid, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah. We, we Mario 64 now. You, you guys don't need to... You, I, I can figure that out. I'm smart, okay? You need to come down. This is a this is a really low capacity for a starting slingshot. Twenty? Uh, are they really worried the slingshot's going to be overpowered if they don't limit it? It is a very strange choice that they don't have. Uh, they don't just have like save anywhere. That they would go back to having like save point locations. Very strange design choice. It is nice that they have the, the statues let you go out of the temple whenever you want to, at least. I assume that I would be able to get back to any statue that I had uh, unlocked. Wind Waker kind of tried to address that with the warped pots. Twilight Princess used the Uku. Hello. I need to thrust. Thrust. Yes, that's how we do it. Are these dungeons really so complicated that they felt the need to include, like, instructions in every room? What's my, how do I look again? I keep forgetting the controls. Okay, so there's one thing to hit below, and there's one thing to hit above. And there's spiders all over the wall. That's lovely. I'm gonna have to use a lot of slingshot arrows on the arrows. I feel bad. They have like a like a a survival instinct. Also, tough mushrooms. Oh, it's through a hole. Okay, we swimming now. Can I get back out? It'd be pretty bad if I couldn't. If I couldn't get back out, this would be like a this would be like a jungle book trap. Horrifying. Link would just have to tread water until he couldn't anymore, and he would eventually just drown in that tiny little room. How get, how get across? Uh, 
Uh, hmm. Well, I see. Uh, it, it, there's the two doors, but how do I like cross this gap? Is my is the question. I don't even see the other crystal that I would hit. Okay, now, now I might need help again. I have no idea what to do here. I've, I've looked up and everything. Fi, what have you got to say? I'm sure you'll be helpful. This is Skyview Temple. You can expect to encounter many mechanisms. Hey, look around. Oh, thanks. I definitely hadn't tried that. You get to that area from another place. Okay. Something about a portcullis. Uh, I guess, do I just come back later? I, it doesn't appear, I don't see anything else that I can do in this room for now. This, I, I think this is a portcullis, what, is, what that is. This room had, like, doors on each side. Was this what was being talked about? Ah, okay. I see, I assumed it to be that room that we were just in was the one that had, like, a switch high and a switch low and two doors. Now, they, they put a hint for the previous room in a different room. Can you get up on the log link? No? Okay, there's vines. This spider obviously is not uh, not having any of my shit. have the reaction time for this enemy. I'm too old for this. There we go. Room with two glittering glems gemstone. You shall find a temple map. Okay. These feel like really unnecessary hints. These feel these hints feel like they're making up for like poor dungeon design that the previous Zelda games did not suffer from. If you need to include hints, that's probably not like good. Also, while I like the the bright colors again, this game is not as like visually impressive as Twilight Princess. This, that treasure chest has some GameCube-ass textures. I can count the polygons. 
You're unable unable to use beacons here. Yeah. Whoops! Oh, I just fell. Where did I fall to? Is this the log room again? I think this is. Can I go from here? I can get on the log. Can I reach the vines? I can. Okay. But I need a key? I just mean I just mean even on the Wii. I'm I'm saying this game came after Twilight Princess and uh as the the textures and the complexity of the models both look a lot less detailed. Not just because of the art style, but just because Yeah, you know, they they didn't put as much time into them. path. God of Sword is a good sword. This sword actually cut spider webs. None of the previous links could do that. They had to burn them. Is there... Is this another room that has a Portuculus thing? Can I affect the water level in here? Is what I'm wondering. I guess it may, would make sense if I couldn't, because I already raised the water level enough to cross the log, so... Maybe it doesn't go up two levels. How many dungeons are uh, in this game? I, th I think it's the same amount as Twilight Princess, right? Which Twilight didn't actually have more than other dungeon game than other Zelda games. It just had very long involved dungeons, and also very long involved over everything was long in Twilight Princess. Wasting all my ammo. Sorry if you're watching, Jack. <sighs> Just missed again. Okay, so this, this is the main room. I've been here. I haven't looked up here if there's anything up here, which there must be because there's vines. Is it just a shortcut is all? Yeah, I just unlocked a shortcut, okay. There's only four. Okay, great. I hate dungeons, so having only four of them is fantastic. So I, as far as I can tell, I've cleared out everything on this side. I need a key to progress any further. There's these logs leading to the Portuculus. But they don't appear, like, enterable or anything, so that might just be, like, a coincidence. This Link is very bad at grabbing ledges. It doesn't got that upper body strength. Oh, 
Okay, so I went up this side, and I came out that door. When I went in this side, I don't think I, like, came out another door at all. So there must be more to do in this room. Or I haven't been to this I thought I came to this room. Yeah, I did. But I didn't get across. What's that? There's like a tunnel up there. Did I jump down too early, I guess? Maybe there was a way across from the exit of the other room that I didn't see. All this because Zelda could not wait one day for me to get here. It's Pokemon, uh, it's Pokemon Sword Shield all over again. Okay, so I go out this door, and my objective is to get to the other side of the room. Can I do so? Don't fall off. doesn't look like there's any apparent way to get across. So I don't think this was the... the answer. I'm pretty sure I need to find a way up there anyway. Good thing I'm not on a timer for this. The only time I'm wasting is my own. They wouldn't have me backtrack further from even this, like, main hub room, would they? The only way I can figure is that there must be some way across here, but I... One of you guys said that you get here from the other side. I can't even get back to that previous room, because I can't go into water and crawl anymore. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm about out of ideas. I could ask Phi, but she'll just say, Hey, look around! <laughs> Two doors lead to rooms left and right. They will only open when the gemstones are struck. I did that. I opened both of them. That doesn't help. key to go further that way. I don't remember what was before this room. This was just the eye room. Y'all got any ideas? And this goes back to where the shortcut was.
This was the entrance. Yeah. I lost five rupees here once. I hope leaving and re-entering didn't respawn all the monsters. I bet it did. It did. have a key? You have a skull. I open both of these doors by hitting both of the switches. That's done already. this middle spiderweb section, was there? Oh, wait. Oh, I'm blind. Well, that took too long. Did that do anything in this room, or only out in the main room? Alright, so now out here, the water level is higher. Out here and also hopefully in the other room so that I can get up to that ledge where presumably a small key is waiting. No? So that only raised the water level in the center room, which, how does that help me? Because I could already reach the other, I could already reach the, the key door, I don't have a key for it. Is there anything I can access now that the water level is higher? Oh, here we go. This is how you get up there. This is a very complicated first temple. Small key. Hello, Mr. Spider. You should turn around. No, turn around, please. Show your belly to me. 
other Sculptulas do this. You should be cool like other Sculptulas. Well, I did that. Uh, we got these guys again. Whoops. Do I have to do both at once? Is that what we're doing? I have to do both at once. <laughs> it's a... It's a... It's a gate with googly eyes. There's a randomizer for this game. I'm pretty sure we're up to... I, I think we've got randomizers for all of the 3D Zelda games other than Tears of the Kingdom, but... To varying degrees. Like, there's already randomizers for a lot of Switch games. Metroid Dread has a randomizer. I think it has a randomizer that actually works in combination with other, other games as well. Not like Archipelago, but like its own thing. I don't remember what exactly it crosses with. Mostly other Metroid games, I think. I found out how uh, Minecraft works in the Archipelago randomizer. The one that mixes multiple games together. Apparently, every, uh, every advancement... Basically, every achievement in Minecraft is an item check. So you can find other games' items by making advancements. And then I guess the things that you find for Minecraft in other games are... I, I think it locks certain progression. Like, you, can, you can't build a... You can't build new tools, like a, a better tools, until you find the item that allows you to do so, for example. It sounds very strange. There's actually talk of uh, integrating the Ocarina Majora combination randomizer into Archipelago. Probably before the regular Majora randomizer. Something to do with uh, the language it's coded in makes it easier to do. What are you doing up? Oh, it's, it's hanging by web. I thought it was just fucking floating. Alright. Uh, oh, not only are there spiders in this temple, they're psychics? They got the uh, musical note hits from Wind Waker back as well. I don't think they quite, uh... I don't think they did that in Twilight Princess. I don't remember, though. Fancy looking heart piece. Wouldn't mind that. This is a big room. There's a lot that... I, there's a lot that looks like I'd be able to miss in this room. That is another small key door. Is there anything down here? Just looks like some enemies down there. I hope I hope it's not like I have to clear every enemy in this room to open that hard piece door. That that'd be annoying. Okay. Uh bird statue, locked door. I got two entrances that I theoretically don't need a locked a small key for. How do I open them? I don't see anything else to do in this room except kill those enemies. But I'm probably also being blind.
Oh. As far as this. He really has a lot of recoil from that slingshot. I'm beginning to suspect that this Link doesn't have a lot of arm strength. Okay, Stalfos. Hello, sir. Ow. Oh, that hurt. really hurt. I don't like that. Go down. Okay, there he goes. Why are hearts spawning from flowers now? Do they respawn? Did they think this was more realistic than hearts coming out of, like, pots and things? This is also a very mushroomy, moldy temple. I'll bet this room smells awful. Truly the dankest Zelda dungeon. Okay. The beetle. So it's like the it's like the eagles in Twilight Princess, I guess. Thank you, Fi. It's not like I literally just read that in the item description. What would I do without you? After launching it, you can remotely pilot the device. The sharp structure on the front of the device can sever threads and deliver a blow to smaller objects. That was like a, a, a fancy boomerang. Was it unrealistic that a boomerang would cut things? You really got Nikita missiles. Is there a limit to how long it can go? Well, that's great, but it didn't get me out of here. Okay, there is a limit. I don't know if it's a time limit or a range limit. I don't think I, in Zelda I've ever had to, like, go outside a room to activate the switch that opened the room again. I didn't mean to do that. Cancel. Well, this will make the uh, killing the flowers easier. The dangling ones, anyway. We did find out. I did find out what the uh, issue with the with the randomizer was, or rather, what we were missing. So uh, that we will be able to finish that next time we stream it, whenever that ends up being. Uh, how bottle? Oh, scoop. There we go. Scoop. Uh, 
Okay. So that came out of one of the crates. What else is in this room? I'm gonna have to do, like... I'm gonna have to fly over this around all this whole room to find out what, uh, what does what. Oh, this is such a big room. This is... Oh, uh, there's, like, tunnels. I thought they were just, like, pockets. No, they're, they're, like, they're tunnels. This is very Spyro. This room structure. What's in you? Could you be a small key? That'd be lovely. No, you're, you're 20 rupees. All right. to jump down here? Was this a mistake? This kind of looks like a Dark Souls area. It's a lot brighter, granted, but if you like, if you lower the saturation of this a lot, I, ju I just look like I was walking around in a Dark Souls sewer. To this? No, I haven't been to this area before. This is a new room. Jack is uh, currently playing Elden Ring. He's been enjoying that game a lot lately. I did the wrong thing. Okay. There we go. I gotta waggle in a specific way for Fatal Blow. Look at the pretty sword. Do I have to be farther? What's the matter? Is it because the top one's not looking? Is there a block or something? There is. Well, kind of. That's just a heart. Maybe if I have a vantage point up here, I will be able to better direct their gaze. Okay, there's the block I need. I knew that I knew where this was headed. I just needed to find the block I needed. Can't have a Zelda game without block puzzles. Here we go. Such a weird, weird mechanic. I get it, they're trying to do something different. It's just kind of superficially different. Like that doesn't add a whole lot to the game. Waggle eyes. Jack has sent me a message. Things I've learned I don't like. Milk tea. This has been things I've learned I don't like. I've never had milk tea. What about milk steak? 
classic dish, milk steak. Who doesn't love a good milk steak? Isn't milk tea just tea with milk in it? Like, like how you put milk in coffee? Is it just the same thing? Ah, that's right, this link doesn't grab ledges. How does he get up here? Does he get up here? Do I have to, like, fly through? I gotta fly through like, uh, like, like a spiral level, don't I? Yeah, I do. Fly through the trees and hit the switch. Why is part of that tree red? What's that about? I don't want to fight the spider. Just making sure. There's not a small key in this room, right? Because I do... I am in the market for one of those. No, go away, spider. I have no beef with you. It's not an especially new concept for an item, but it's uh, new to a Zelda game at least. I love the uh, I love this guided missile in Ratchet and Clank. It's such a broken weapon in that game. Okay, so I'm gonna have to like explore all the tunnels, aren't I? There was a th there was a cage with a switch up here. That might be what ag gives access to the heart piece. Yeah, these are all tunnels. It does, unfortunately, seem to be time-based. Would be nicer if you just could go as long as you wanted. Or if it was distant-based. The Ratchet and Clank one was uh, distance-based. That's it, just rupees in here? Uh, I went and... No, I didn't go in here already. Those are both nothing. Uh, why there gotta be so many tunnels in this room? Where does this tunnel go? I guess we'll guess and check. This is tedious. I'm not. I'm not enjoying this. Gonna be. Gonna be fully honest. It's a cool idea for an item, but the utilization is. Uh, as I said, this is just guessing and checking. Also, I appear to be at uh, wallet capacity. My uh, wallet capacity is 300 at the start of this game. 
And I went through this one, because that was the tunnel that opened that door. I think that's all of the tunnels. Let me double check this guy. This one was the mushrooms one. Yeah. Alright. What else do I have to do in this room? There's that up there. Is that open? Or is that the caged switch? No, this is open. I wonder when it opened. Oh no, it was just caged from the other side. And that's the heart piece. Well, that's great, but where's my small key? Oh, I have a small key. I didn't need to do any of that. <laughs> Link's goofy run with his sword held straight out in front of him. Get out of here. You too. Turn faster. There we go. They're uh, really utilizing this tightrope mechanic. I think if there's four dungeons in this game, a good stopping point would be after we finish this one. If there's only four dungeons in this game, they're probably very spread out, so I don't know if we'll get like one per stream, but uh, we, we'll have been going over five hours. That's that's fine for a first stream. It's the, it's the Hydra. I know how to do this. I've, I've fought this enemy before. I have to get on the Hydra's back! Or I just cut off all the heads at once, that works too. I wonder if that was a... Uh, there's a there's a dude who does like uh, who does the he's a voice double for Danny DeVito. He was in uh, he he was in I think it was called like Sewer Shark, the Sega CD game that was it wasn't good. But uh, given the very few titles on the Sega CD, it was one of the uh, few titles that uh, anyone like knew about. It was an FMV game, and uh, this dude was in it. I'm wondering if that's also the dude who was Phil in Kingdom Hearts. Uh, how am I, I? I assume it wants me to to use this. I can probably go around the room through the tunnel. Could I cut the rope with this? It'd be a bad idea, but... No, I cannot. It just hits the rope. Okay. Yep, get out of here. Link doesn't kill spiders, he just puts them in cups and then releases them elsewhere in the dungeon. Uh... 
Well, I guess if I can use this, there's no reason not to, because it saves uh, it saves slingshot ammo. Okay, this goes back into this room. Had I not, I guess. Okay, that's just a shortcut then. It is nice how Zelda, the Zelda games have started uh, including shortcuts to things within dungeons. I appreciate that. Hello, Jack. Are you uh, are you still at work? The game is about as anticipated. The controls are very unwieldy, even having been adapted to a controller. I'm still struggling with uh, with them in a lot of ways. Apparently there are only four dungeons in this game. Which speaks to how much, like, uh, overworld stuff there is and how spread out it is. There's this thing. Link's got a Nikita missile now. <laughs> Did it just run off? Oh no, the poor Bokoblin! All right, well, that solves my problem, I guess. I hate to be insensitive. There's rope mechanics, except they're way worse because we're not a wolf now. Like turning uh, goofy for a second there. Where does this go? There's a lot of very strange design decisions in this game. I've, I've kind of been pointing them out as we go along. They added a they added the stamina meter, but there are a lot of puzzles and places in the game where you need more than the stamina meter allows. So they just like stick the stamina fruit all over the place. Whoops, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Any bosses yet? No, this is uh this is the first this is the first dungeon. Zelda is like a childhood friend character. You talk to her, you have she does stuff, you have like a relationship with her. She's not, like, non-existent for 90% of the game, so that's nice. The characterization is just kind of usual anime stuff, though. It's anime school senpai, which I, I kind of anticipated would be the case. That sounds insufferable. What's the point of stamina? Good question! I don't know. Uh, you don't roll every and everywhere. You, you have a run now. Link can finally run. It uses his stamina. Spin attacks with your sword use up a chunk of stamina. What was the point of me coming? Was there a point to coming up here? There doesn't appear to be anything up here. Okay. Well, it's a cool view. I guess I'll come back up if I need to. commented earlier, this particular dungeon is just, like, full of decay and fungus and rot. And if you just lowered the uh, brightness and contrast a bunch, it would look like a Dark Souls dungeon. A Dark Souls area. Okay, I thought... I can shimmy. Yeah. Oh, there's a shimmy. Link, like, uh, he shimmies up ledges, like Hat in Time. Okay, I cannot make that jump. Uh, is there another rope that I can drop? Whoops. Was I supposed to make the jump from up there to one of the ropes? Because that doesn't look makeable. 
That does not look Mako tsunami -able. Okay, there's this rope here, which I used already. This rope doesn't appear to go anywhere except for this le obvious ledge. And this obvious ledge did not appear to go anywhere. I, w I will be honest, this, these controls on a controller are awkward enough that I might have actually preferred the motion controls version. I don't know, it's a really hard call. In theory, I still have access to the motion controls, except that the Switch uses Joy-Cons and my Joy-Cons, like all Joy-Cons, have horrible drift. So, I'm not impressed by this dungeon so far. Oh, you've missed all the really convoluted shit. There was a lot of it so far. This was a this was a really like this was a really difficult first dungeon. Even Majora is known for having difficult dungeons, and the first one is at least like a breather, a tutorial. This game goes balls to the wall with dungeons right out of the gate. Yeah, good rope jumping. Am I missing something? There's no other ropes. Can I go down a little bit more? I don't remember how to go up and down. Okay, here we go. Seems like the kind of game that uses the wrong kind of difficulty. Uh, the room we were in just before you joined was where we got the Nikita missile bug type item. And it was full of, like, tunnels. It was a huge room that was full of tunnels all over that we had to, like, guess and check putting the beetle into to find switches. It was not what I would call a well-designed room. <laughs> While I don't like Zelda... I uh, don't like Zelda dungeons... Twilight Princess did probably have the best dungeons in the, Ze in the 3D Zeldas. They were well-designed dungeons. Okay, so I didn't get a I didn't get a boss key. I got a golden carving, which, given the door we were just looking at, I assume to be the equivalent of a boss key. Across the tightrope. This seems like it would be very anxiety inducing for some people. This particular tightrope walking mechanic. Also, this game has save points. You don't save anywhere. You don't save anywhere. It's like the owl statues in the uh, combination randomizer. Very strange decision. Now we uh, put the item we just got into the fourth seat logo. Uh, with attached minigame, I suppose. There we go. Is it going to rotate? 
Is it gonna do the spin? No, it won't. Okay. And first boss. Oh, hello. Who are you? I've never seen this character before. Wait, how did you get here before me? Thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart. Yet here you are, not in pieces. Not that your life or death has any consequence. Just the girl that matters now, and I can sense her here, just beyond this door. Okay, question one, how did you get here before me? Question two, how did she get behind that locked door? Yes, please introduce yourself. His eyes also look way bigger. Everyone in this game has huge eyes for some reason. He looks way more in line with the other, like, uh, Zelda characters in Hyrule Warriors. Okay, this is Lord... Lord Girahim, the demon lord of the surface world. Did you really just draw your sword? Foolish boy! He's probably not as deep as I'm doing it. I'm more like a Hisaka thing. She was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess switched, snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? I'm sorry, is Girahim the first boss? Too close. I promise not to murder you. Okay. There's the tongue thing. I don't like the way he's wiggling his fingers. What's he gonna do with his fingers? Maybe it's like a mini-boss. Maybe we're probably gonna fight gear him a few times. Is this gonna be an unwinnable fight? I say, first boss of the game... I'll send the bug at him. Yeah, that's what I'll do. No! <laughs> he didn't care about the bug, he swatted it away. I, I want to see that animation again. Okay, no, he didn't swat the bug. He swatted me. Never mind. What about the uh, what about the slingshot? He does not care about the slingshot. It is. You're right. It is pretty Inuyasha music. We're gonna find out that Kaoru Wada had something to do with the soundtrack. Like, we found out she was involved with Kingdom Hearts, apparently. Uh, it's not as quite- it's- The combat is motion controls. It's like, vertical slice, diagonal horizontal slices. But it's not quite as, like, uh, just mash to win like that Bleach game was. I need to thrust. You like how I thrust scare him? Fi, what do you have to say? Master, your wallet is- Thanks, Fi! Not the time, that's not what I'm asking about! There we go. Gear him. I have no confirmed information other than that he refers to himself as a demon lord. Thanks. 
I didn't catch that when he said it out loud to me. Uh, okay, tell me more. Please. He's confident, okay. I, at, opposite his hand, okay. Okay, so I watch where he's got his hand and I swing opposite. It's like, uh, it's like Tenkaichi 3 blocking. Alright, yes, you have your fancy glowy fingers. What are you go- where are those fingers going to go, Gear him? Are you gonna, like, block? So I thought she meant, like, his defense when he moved his hand in a certain direction. Right now it's just kind of smack in the middle. Okay, I think I know what she means. Like, I gotta wig wag waggle my sword over to the left and then strike from the right. Waggle the right and then strike from the left. This is a doofy boss. You'd think he would, like, catch on to what I'm doing by now. There's also, like, not really a punishment for missing. Got a sword now. This <laughs> wannabe Sephiroth. Yeah. Ah, oh, there goes my shield. Oh yeah, the shields break, Jack. This game had uh, this game introduced breakable sh shields or breakable equipment. You know the best part of Breath of the Wild? Not none of the good other parts, just that part. So now I don't have a shield, I guess. Realistic swordsmanship. Throw your things at me. Oh, he's coming now. Ow. Y'all got any hearts? Oh, he doesn't want me to heal. He's on to me. I have an idea. Hold on. Where's he at? Okay, throwing pots is not- I really want to throw a pot at him, but he's not going to let me. Alright. I also have a fairy, just in case, but... Why has he got to teleport, though? I'm wondering if this is a mini-boss and there's going to be, a, like, another boss after it. This is pretty jank, but it is at least more in-depth than most Zelda bosses. Especially most, like, Dungeon 1 Zelda bosses. I'm, I'm just surprised they had the balls to have this guy as, like, the first boss of the game. I assume I'm damaging him. Like, he's taking hits, right? I'm gonna die. Okay. 
Okay, so I can't dodge that. I, I don't have a shield, so I can't shield it. How do I respond to that? I don't, I guess. Is he gonna go down soon? I swear I dodged that with a sidestep once. I just, I'm not gonna get away with it anymore. Okay, there we go. About time! You put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible out of such a soft boy. He likes my sword. That's the only thing he's gonna compliment me on. Wait, Zelda's gone? She's the whole reason I came here! <laughs> that seems like it would have been very easy for him to kill me if he actually wanted to. Like, right there. <laughs> that was a very anime encounter. That he just showed up and, like, played around for a bit, and he was like, I'm bored, bye. Well, I guess that was our first dungeon. Okay. If Zelda's gone, then I don't even know why I came here. So there's only four dungeons, but there's a bunch more MacGuffin. Okay, there's, like, eight items. Uh... Some things in the bottom right down there. Three stones or medallions or something. I'm just wondering what, if there's going to be like a Triforce hunt like in Wind Waker. How, how are they going to fill out the rest of this game's like hours if there's only four dungeons? There's going to be some kind of bullshit. There's a goddess statue. There's the thing that I have to thrust my sword into, or whatever. Oh yeah, I have the Getsuga Tensho. Check that out. I should have tried that on Girahim. I should have tried my laser sword beam. I'll bet that would have beaten Sashomaru. You spend a ludicrous amount of time in each area building up to the dungeon. Yeah, okay. I, 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 I kind of guess that was going to be the case, but enough to beat out tri uh, Twilight Princess in game hours? I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. Okay. And she's going to sing a song now. Look, do you like her yet? She dances. That makes her likable. Never mind that she's fucking useless in for, like, advice. And she spends four text boxes to say five words of useful information. Okay, as we stand in the Skyview Spring. There's another known as the Earth Spring. hidden away deep within the scorched, scorched earth of Elden. Is there a ring there? Where was Elden in Twilight Princess? It's using a lot of Twilight Princess locations. I think Elden was in the Goron territory.
Okay, see you later, Jack. I'm actually gonna call it probably pretty soon after this, so I'll be around when you get home. Ruby Tablet. Weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. As I just translated, it would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of this spring. Yo, we sell in bath water? I'm sorry. So, while we're here clearing convoluted dank fungus dungeons and fighting creepy swordsmen, her quest is to go around bathing? What's her adventure like? What companion does she have that's making this so easy for her? I want to go on that quest instead. Okay, so we can't, like, travel directly between the areas. We go through each, uh... Each area is a different, like, sky hole we have to go through. Yes. Well, no. Who are you? What do you mean, who am I? Don't tell me you forgot your old buddy! I, I dislike you more than Makar. I hope I never see these Kikwi things again. Alright, well, uh, where is... Uh, there's a statue. Here we go. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna go to the sky, I'm gonna open the next sky hole, and uh, I'll know where we're starting tomorrow. I have the slingshot now, so I should be able to uh, summon beetle, right? Master Dink. When you hit that goddess cube with a skyward strike earlier, I was able to detect a resulting energy reaction above the clouds. Oh, we have a sky map. Is this what the side quests are? We can travel to different places in the sky? Also, what's that? What's this? I guess we're not going over there for a while. Farron Woods. Okay. I get well let's see what this is real quick, I suppose. I'm curious. Real quick. Hopefully it's real quick. I have no idea how quick this will be. This music reminds me of One Piece. I mean, Inuyasha and One Piece both 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 orchestral soundtracks, but there's there's subtle like composition traits you can tell are different between different orchestral soundtracks. How do I land? Oh, land, please. Touchdown. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna hold B to really slow down. Oh! I, pr I pressed down to jump off. Ace Landing. It's a it's a pumpkin farm.
We got almost Lon Lon Ranch music. Thank you for showing me that heart piece. Twice. I want to be really sure I see that heart piece. It's a bar? Hello? Welcome to every bird rider's favorite rest stop, the Lumpy Pumpkin. This is the one and only place you can enjoy some of our famous pumpkin soup. I'm good. I don't want to see you shaking it. Don't even look at it sideways. I'm going to assume that he'll be mad if I use my bug in here. She looks like, uh, she looks like the Mother Earth, the Mother Airbender from Korra. Don't go thinking you can get those down. You might think you can knock the rupees down by bumping something, but don't even think about it. You're saying no, but I'm hearing yes. There's a fiendish demon living in Skyloft. I came this close to getting eaten by that evil beast! Who, Girahim? I didn't know we went for guys your age. Oh, you come here too. Didn't think I'd see you here. Bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. Yeah? I'm really into bugs. That's why I'm out collecting insects wherever I think I'll find them. If you have a bug net, you should try catching them. Oh, Beetle sells bug nets. Do, do you have to describe Beetle as sweaty, though? Oh, as suspected, my ZR button does not work. Now I don't want to go down, I'll get in trouble. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna need you to take a fall for me. <laughs> I can't, like, I can't do any, like, fancy backflips or anything. There's no way for me to sneak out of this. Well, I got the piece of heart. There's no escaping this one. Don't even pretend that was an accident. No one's gonna, like, stop me from getting the money? I can't even use the rupees. Alright, well, bye. Got any more for me? No? Okay. You know, for a second there, yeah, I kind of did. You broke my fancy custom-ordered chandelier! Alright. I, I got 300 rupees. Need to deliver my famous soup to Aegis Skyloft's Night Commander. Why, why don't I just pay you the rupees? I'm gonna have like a million of them over the course of this game. This seems like a poor reason for a side quest. 
I, it's nice that I get the uh, I get the heart the heart piece as a down payment at least. Uh, Skyloft. No, pl please place. There we go. Wait, no. I can't, like, remove a beacon. I have to, like, pick it up manually. See, this doesn't seem quite as exciting as, like, uh, the Ocarina of Time time quests. Because I'm not, like, racing across a series of environments or anything. I don't have to get on and off Epona. It's just a straight line through the air of nothing. I could have got a speed boost through that rock, it looks like. Five minutes is a really long time or two. Where's Aegis? Are you Aegis? No, Aegis was the was the night trainer. Where's he at? Where's where's the where's the barracks? I'm gonna fail because I don't remember what this town's layout is. Uh not the barracks, the, the training area. Oh, this isn't it. That was it. <laughs> Running like the mailman in Twilight Princess. Oi! I got soup for you. I don't think I would like pumpkin soup. Considering I don't like pumpkin anything. Alright. I'm gonna check out Beetle Shop. I'm gonna get another shield. I'm gonna open the next uh, sky hole, and then we'll call it. Hello. Zelda's fallen through the clouds, yes. And she, she ran ahead of me for some dumb reason. It's like she doesn't want to see me. Oh. Thanks! Alright. Well, I didn't know he would teach me how to use a shield. I, I kind of... I wish I'd thought of that. Get up there. Come on. Alright, Beetle, where are you? Ring, ring! Oh, that's how he lets you in? Okay. No, let me up. Wait. Please. Don't bring it up again. Grab the rope, Link! What? He doesn't want to grab it. Why won't he grab it? Oh. It, it's a button press. It's not like an actual rope I can grab. This seems like a questionable business decision. 
having a flying shop with rope access. How are old people gonna get up here? Oh, oh God. Oh, it's realistic proportions, beetles. I beetle, I hate it. Uh What's this? Oh. Bunch of mysterious and mystical effects. 800 rupees. Okay. Oh. That's an eventual purchase. No wonder that guy described him as sweaty. All right, bigger wallet. That sounds like a good investment. What about the bug bug catching that? 50 rupees. All right. I'll make a net profit. Thank you. How's he going to put more items out? He's gonna have to stop pedaling to put more stuff on the counter. Thank you. Okay, well, uh, I guess that's all of his items until, uh... I can just sleep in front of him. That seems insulting considering how hard he has to work to keep this place afloat. Literally. Uh. All right. Well, that's be. I, I'm glad that guy gave me a shield. Can I like upgrade it? Do I have stuff for that now? Oh, there's a there's a metal shield. Sure. At no other use for rupees. That was the other thing I was going to check. What, uh, what, like, treasures do I have? I haven't gotten a lot of stuff. So I don't know if I can, like, upgrade any equipment yet. I can get a better slingshot? That's kind of cool. Uh, I need more types of relics get a better bug net eventually. I need jelly blobs for the shield. I need various things for better iron shield. It's cool. We haven't really been seeing a lot of enemy drops, but uh, once we have a number of them. That's like the coolest part of the game so far, is being able to have uh, upgradable equipment. I wish it didn't break. Like, I could do without that. I'd, I'd kind of, like, just like to upgrade it, but... Okay, now I need to go to, like, the... I need to go to, like, the, the goddess statue or something. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Is the place. It's a good thing these stones are in a nice uh, sequential order, so I can go from one place to the next. If I just didn't have a way to get to one of these places, my adventure would be over. Alright. 
Uh, where's a save statue? It's so weird to not have an A button roll in a Zelda game. That's such a quintessential part of 3D Zelda. Does Breath of the Wild have that? Can you roll around in that? Or is it also a, is it like a, a, a click stick? Or some other non-A button method to do it? Hey! Oh, hello. Ooh. Who are you? She looks a little one piece ish. Hello. Ku who? Kukui? The Pokemon Professor? Oh, that's the little girl that we saw earlier. She's been spotted with an unknown per with an unknown person with a scary face. That that's a little real, what's going on here. Okay. Hey! Well, I don't know where she could be. She could be anywhere. Anywhere on Skyloft, presumably, but, uh, I don't know. It's just a lost child. It can't be that urgent. I'm gonna forget. <laughs> We're, that child is never going to be found. I'm, do, I'm going to have completely forgotten that she's lost by tomorrow. I'm going to have completely forgotten that I'm supposed to be doing part-time work for the bar. But that's okay. We got more important things to do. I, I gotta go, like, to meet, meet some Gorons and save the world or something. I don't know. That's it for today. Uh, I will be back with more of this tomorrow. Probably a similar length stream, because I want to I wanna get through this game quickly. So I'm going to be taking big bites of it as much as I can. I feel like we got a good amount done today. We got through all the introduction of the game, got through the first temple. We'll see how long it takes us. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you tomorrow.